Does the cleric matter anymore? Do we have to get into his story, or can I just say he was another traveler with us? Just skip his story. Yeah, he's he had <laughs> uh, he he uh, twisted his ankle on the dock. So he, he, oh, he, he twisted his ankle and fell down a cliff. Mm-hmm. So continue, Matt. <laughs> All right. Um, so Brian's character is a gnome that is native to this region. Has been living mm -hmm. there for about two years. Okay. My character's name is Finbold. Findled. Finbuild. Oh, uh, Finbuild. Did Matt cut out or? Yeah, I was wondering. I thought like my Discord like stopped. Sorry, no, it, it's probably me because I'm not. Um, I'm on the edge of my uh, my router and it's not jumping. Oh, um, okay. So hold on, let me stand still and just try and do a brief recap, and people can fill in. Okay. Uh, my character is Nash. He is a tallish half elf mm -hmm. uh, that came in a. Um, Matt down. Matt's down. Uh, Matt down. I thought his name was Nash. Well, yeah. you can... It's okay. They, a lot of people know me from... Brian and Jay know me from, from real life, so Matt will come up a lot. Brian Nash. <laughs> um, if I'm going to keep cutting out, actually, just let's have someone else take over for this, and if I hear enough, I can fill in things. All right. Uh, tab? You want to try? I mean, Brian tried for two seconds. Um, <laughs> I don't remember everybody because um, they're really not important except for me. But wow! Uh, <laughs> so we've we've got a ragtag collection of people who have met together in the frigid north of the um, what's it called? Uh, Ten pounds. Area um, from different backgrounds. Uh, like I said, the, a little gnome um, who's the only decent uh, shot with a bow in the group, except for myself. Um, been here the longest, so he's been kind of our guide um, mm -hmm. somewhat. We've got Nash, who was a, a half elf. Um, most I know about him, he's not a very good shot with a bow. Uh, or a crossbow, I think it is. Um, <clears throat> we have Bob, who is an, uh, an unfortunate um, degenerate race of cobalt. Um, and um, myself, um, who is uh, the uh, largest and most fit and probably the most handsome of the crew. Uh, Okay. And, and I smell good. Um, and we met in, I'm not going to remember the name of the town. Brinchandir. Brinchandir. Um, where we were, uh, where we kind of took up some uh, mercenary opportunities to make some money. Um, and we decided to, you know, form a little uh, crew to, uh, to be more successful in that. And we are kind. We are on the trail of a killer, murderer, almost a serial killer. I think he's hit three times, four times. Oh. Uh, um, we but first, we went. We went for the money first. So we had to help some dwarves find um, or recover a sled of uh, iron ore that they had uh, lost to uh, a yeti attack. Um, and when we, uh, when we tracked it down, um, the, the sled had actually been taken by some goblins. And so we defeated, uh, part of the goblins and the rest of them ran off. Um, and so we, we, uh, we got in good with the dwarves in, 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 uh, whatever the name of the town was again. Um, and so we have... We have good graces there, um, but then we went 
uh, from there. Oh, we're also looking for some some foolishness. I don't, I don't think it's actually real. We've got supposedly some magic lantern that will tell us when these creatures are around us, and we're Chewingos. supposed to. Yeah. What are they? Chewingos. Chewingos. Yeah, I'm not really sure they actually exist. So, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm not carrying a lantern, so I'm not concerned with it. Um, and then uh, we went west through one little town to a second town um, in search of this killer who just always seems to be just ahead of us. Um, and from there, we decided to go, or, or the majority of the group um, made a poor decision to continue on land um, to try and catch up with this killer who is a dwarf, I believe, um, some sort of traitor, traitor dwarf. Did you guys actually make a decision? I thought we were ending it still on the docks, not really knowing if you're going to steal the boats. Oh uh, yeah, well that's the best idea is to take the boats because it's, yeah. it's less distance and less time, so we'll be able to get a hold of them. But others had the brilliant idea that continuing to run through the snow uh, after them was uh, a better idea, which it isn't. Um, and so I was trying to think if there was any other kind of leads we had on. Uh, Oh, one guy wants us to go fishing uh, for for trout, which seems a total waste of time. Um, but uh, another guy says that there's a monster in the lake. Um, I don't think he identified it. Or did he? Yes, a plesia. Wait, 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 wait. But so related to that fishing. Yes. So supposedly there's some big monster in the lake that has been eating people in boats and such. And, um, Apparently, he's the monster in the lake is only attacking Bremen ships. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he's probably it, it, it. So he's probably controlled by somebody. Would be my guess. Um, you know, a wizard, a druid, something. Mm. Somehow he's got a grudge against against Bremen. And since all of these towns seem to, even though they kind of depend on each other to to survive, they also tend to seem to have some kind of rivalry going on amongst them. And um, so they're mostly human towns and dwarf towns, so you can't really expect much from them. Sounds about right, honestly. Uh, and that's... Um, that's my perspective. Oh my god, there's so many maps on my screen. I like tapped out for a second and I get yeah, all the sorry. Maps. So I linked you the Sword Coast map. Okay. Well, that's the entire Sword Coast. But way up north you're gonna see Icewind Dale. So then I linked you the Icewind Dale map. So then you see our ten towns in the area, you know. It, it's really cold and, and dark. By the way, yeah. you guys did not mention the whole curse thing oh I yeah mean, uh, there's um, a curse. yeah there's a curse well supposedly there's a curse i i haven't lived here long enough to decide that it's like like the chewingas whether it's real or not uh -huh. um, but supposedly the days are real short you know during the winter like they normally are mm -hmm. uh, but that they never get longer there, there's no season, so in other words, the the days are always short. Mm. Yeah, it's always winter. Yeah, yeah. Been for a couple of years. What is it? Is it two or four it's years? Four years. I, I thought it was two. Yeah, just put the maps in your hot bar at the bottom, where it's one, two, three, four, or whatever through twelve. Uh, how you do that? You drag it. You drag the, the little axe to the to the, oh, the number. Okay, See, yeah. it's. The dragon. Or the dragon. Yeah, it's drag the dragon. But it's a it's a drag axe. A drax. It's supposed to be a dragon, but because of the the thing that you loaded, it's an axe. You can always switch it back by just editing the zip file. So if if you zoom in on that image, 
actually a dragon. So, so this, uh, what is the Sword Coast map? That's just uh, the left the, side? The or? bigger map. Like, Icewind Dale is zoomed in. It's on, if okay. you look at the top, top, north, uh, west, or the top north, that's, Northwest. if you see Luskin, if you see Waterdeep, it's north of Waterdeep, it's north of Luskin, well, not north, but like north east-ish of Luskin, and uh -huh. Luskin's all the way north, mostly, so yeah. Okay, yeah, I can so kind you're, of you're, see you're, that. So you're at the, like the far end of the world, basically. All right, so I should put it, the first one, Sword Coast is the first one, because it's the biggest That's the map. the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Close that. Then Ice Wind would be the second. And then currently, you guys, well, we're gonna. And we're in Bremen, there. so. Yep, we're gonna start three. with our characters in Bremen. Uh, they're okay. still on the docks. Tally, uh, the the elf over there is trying to get you the the one who asked you to go take notes on mm -hmm. on this monster is currently waiting for your guys' decision on whether or not you're going to go back to the buried treasure um, with him or her, I think, him, him, and uh, go back to the buried treasure with oh. Kara, or go back to the buried treasure with Tally, and, you know, stay the night before you head out in the morning to go fishing for the dwarf or mm -hmm. stealing his boats, rowboats, and, and uh, yeah. Right now, uh, Grinsk Fairmore <coughs> is the one who owns the uh, the boats, the rowboats, and he was a bit drunk when he tried to get some people to go, you know, go fishing for him for five mm -hmm. pieces for each knucklehead trout they bring him. Um, and uh, yeah, he thought the group was the group of people he hired. But Tally came and ye like yelled him off for uh, trying to get innocent people killed, going after the go f going fishing and possibly being attacked by the monster. So um, yeah, F Finbild, Rattlebone, you wanna say what you guys wanna do tonight? Well, it's it's like I six mean, or seven right now at night. Traveling uh, in the middle of the night through the water is probably not the best idea, but also um, staying in Bremen is a night in Bremen, which is probably the worst of things that you could possibly do. So um, I'm a little bit in a bind right here. Yeah. So Brian's character, Finbild, is from Targos, which is a town to the east of Bremen. And uh, if you could tell by Finbuild's, they they don't get along with Bremen. Really? I mean, the only people that uh, live in Bremen are, are murderers and thieves, and uh, all Oof. sorts of, you know, ne'er do wells. So it's a good thing I rarely leave uh, my room. <laughs> No, I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> no, because I'm supposed to be a, what do you call it? A rock gnome uh, artificer. Uh, who, I forget, like, let me see, look at the background again. Uh, cloistered scholar. So I, I don't think I come from Bremen. I'm still not sure where exactly on the map I should come from, but. You would probably coming from the south. Uh, you probably would have taken a caravan. Uh huh. To get to Bryn Shandir, just like um, Matt's character Nash did. I probably like just wanted to get like a rare book or something like that, and that's the reason why I'm in Bremen. And that's. Wait, are you saying people from Bremen can read? <laughs> I, my character probably doesn't know that. He, he's a scholar. He's kind of stupid. Well, he's like uh he's smart, but like socially inept. If that makes sense. Like it might be something that like might be more on the black market kind of thing. I don't know. I would imagine. Naive. I don't know. Naive. <laughs> Not even. Okie dokie. 
So Tal Tally's going to be looking at you guys. Um, I I could take you over to Bury Treasure. Uh, it's it's an inn. They have rooms for the night. But I I stay there while I stay here in Bremen doing my research. All right. You know we could also the scholar could also to just be passing through Bremen to go to a town further north that we are coincidentally going to. Yeah. Or he could have been here all along. Dun, dun, dun. And we just caravan. didn't notice. <laughs> or, <the caravan. laughs> or maybe I'm just so short no one noticed. Hi, I'm only like one foot off the ground. Yeah. That is true. Well, if you're a rock gnome, you're the same size as a fin over there. Maybe he never noticed because of shorter. Well, that's not technically true because fin build is the maximum height that a gnome could be. He could be shorter if he wanted to. I'll practice with a dwarf. I could be the, the shortest uh, gnome in the world. I'm just yeah. a foot. Uh, it's funny because I already I already chosen my first name. I just have no idea how to how to go ahead with this with my last name. I'm going with Callahan. Callahan Dartificer. I'm with you guys meeting up in Berry Treasure. You know, he could also be looking for a book that's being carried by the car the trade caravan that we're trying to follow. Yeah. And then that's how we kind of run into each other. It's a reason to travel together further. Yeah. I'm fine with you guys meeting up in Fairy Treasure if you guys want to head over there with Tally. All right. Fine. We'll stay in Bremen. <laughs> he, he says it's so, like, dejected. Like, God damn it. Hate Bremen. Yep. Yep. All right. I'm going to use the same uh, in map because clearly this game does not like giving us ins at all. Or, I mean, this module. Here you go. Hey, Matt, I'm just going to call myself Callahan J. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm going to have as the last name. Just I just don't want to figure it out right now. That's fine. I mean, considering you only had an hour and a half notice, yeah. I your character already is it's pretty good. This place looks oddly familiar. Oddly, oddly familiar. But... All right, let me oh. get your tokens. You know, I don't I, think. I swear, Bremen just tries to copy everything from other cities. I mean, look at this place. Yo, know, Bremen is. You see, these just like to steal things. <laughs> is that true? I go to the fireplace. Is there a fish? There's no singing from the fireplace. <laughs> oh. Uh, I don't think I have arm the armor them or I have any money to buy them. <laughs> I am disappointed with the lack of fish as well. Well, what class are you playing? Artificer, so I think... Oh, it's supposed to have any two simple weapons, a light pro, a light crossbow, 20 bolts. Yeah, I was... well, did you have you... to pick one of those things. Yeah. Well, I know I have to pick any two simple weapons, I know that. I can't click on your character because you haven't finished with the wizard oh, yet. Should I just, just save and then go from there, right? I have to. There we go. Welcome to the board, Callahan. I'm gonna delete your name. Un your unnamed. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Five D four times ten gold pieces. So maximum is two hundred gold pieces to start. If you have no no items. I think for these characters, we went with whatever money was get and stuff given to you by the background and class. Yeah. Well, you're supposed to only get the money if you have no items. Yeah. Except for the background. The background is always extra. Oh, what did I even get from my background? Probably like a book or something. I can beat people to death with a book. Also, you're still level one for the moment, but yes. Oh. That's awkward. 
I think I threw you on the combat tracker. Uh, I think you need a picture for me to actually throw you on the map. Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah. Let me. You also need to throw him on the party sheet. I think if you're doing a XP, that is. Actually, no. The uh, gold also, I believe, for parcels and stuff. I'm just gonna go with this picture because it's just kind of funny. Did you look up artifice or gnome? Because there's a bunch of funny ones. If you yeah, I actually me. did. I actually did look that up. I mean, I can link you my little artificer gnome. She's cute. She has purple hair. Why isn't it showing up? I forgot how to do this. This is a PNG. You just gotta have to. You gotta have to drag it into your folder thing. Yeah, I I dragged it into portraits. Uh, there hit the refresh button. There we go. I'm just gonna go with this picture. <laughs> it, just, <laughs> it just looks kind of funny. <laughs> And, and drop it in the channel so I can see it better anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just shared the record, so everybody should be on the same in map. Uh, let's see. It's Discord. Here we go. This is the picture. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Now, just say I wear it like a little coat over my scale mail. Yeah, having some cold weather gear is sort of paramount in this, uh, this yeah. area. Oh, yes. By the way, you do get a free set of cold weather gear. Ooh. And, uh, or cold weather clothing. Mm -hmm. um, also, everybody got uh, either bought snowshoes or three people were able to get snowshoes from the dwarves. So if you mm -hmm. want, you can add snowshoes to your um, inventory. Oh, sure. You gotta go to items. Items. Oh yeah, I don't have anything. Brian, did you want to check with uh, Matt, see if he could get back on, or? I'm trying to get this thing to actually launch right now. I'm at my computer. There you but go. But for some reason, it's uh. There we go. It wasn't launching after the update. All right. Uh, well, uh, I have the map, the in map up. You guys are around the table with uh, Tally mm -hmm. and Ka uh, Cora's over there at the bar. Cora? Oh, I see you connected there, Matt. It's very slow. I don't know what's going on. It happens. Down, down tree, probably. From all the freaking snow. All right. I am in. All right, here we are. So as you guys walk in, uh, Tally's trying to <clears throat> tell you a little bit more about her her research on uh, animals. And um, I don't I don't know if any of you would be listening, but you come to an end. It's it's pretty crowded. Uh, she's if gonna it's let a you. Sea creature, I would be interested. 
I mean, it's not a scary creature. She's trying to tell you about her research into the animals of the area and the so-called monster of Bremen. Monster of Bremen? What do you mean, monster of Bremen? Is a monster in Bremen? Is it, is it, does it, it eat it, humanoid it, flesh? No, the monster I was telling you about, the the one that's attacking Bremen ships. Oh, oh, okay, 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 that one. All right, on, right. on, behalf of, on behalf of the little man here, can the sea monster be milked? She's um, gonna look quizzically at you. <laughs> what? It, I mean, oh yeah. Is there you're a milk the one this who. Tavern? Uh, I, I'll I'll have to ask Cora, but we haven't gotten any good shipments in. You know, there hasn't been a summer here, so get getting you know farm animals to produce milk is pretty difficult. Uh, you get horse milk. Well, yeah, but usually there would be like a summer for horses to eat grass, and grass hasn't grown here in two years. So most of the horses have either been killed for their meat or sold else. It is, you know, winter all the time now. Uh, but you, I, I but you could feed that. horses mushrooms. If they smart, they take the horses as far away from Bremen as they can go. <laughs> as far as I know, they took most of the horses down to Luskin. Luskin isn't having these winter issues. Anyways, hold guy? on. Let me go ask Cora. So Tally, Tally's going to head on down. Wait, uh, it's been winter for two years? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I haven't left... <laughs> I haven't left my room in some time then. You haven't left your room in two years? No, I haven't left it in about... A little over a decade, maybe? I don't know. It's hard to stay track with my watch. You gotta walk away to <laughs> near her head. Wait a minute. Who, who is this guy? Oh, I, I did introduce myself. I'm Callahan. Pleased to meet you. Uh, I'm Bob. Uh, you said you had a watch? Oh, I, I like to tinker with things. It, it doesn't really keep track of time or the year really well, but you know, I gotta fix it. Uh, pray tell, I, like I to... take a look? Yeah, sure. It's like a little wristwatch. It's just kind of like has, it has like weird little blocks on it and it just kind of like constantly just kind of like static on it. It doesn't, uh... <laughs> it doesn't look right and sometimes like the numbers would just like jump. Would this be a magical watch? Technically, since artificers do imbue items with uh, magic. Like, yeah. Uh, I mean, have you? I know. I know you have your. Uh, what is it? Uh, oh God, what is it called? Your magical tinkerings. Yeah. So, um, I think there's like four or five things you're allowed to do with that magical tinkering. There we go. The sh object could sh shed bright light in a five foot radius and dim light an additional five feet. Uh, or it could emit a recorded message that could be heard up to ten feet away. Um, it could be no lo more, no, no longer than six seconds long. Uh, the object continuously emits your choice of an odor or nonverbal sound, or a static visual effect appears on one of the object's surface. This could be a picture, 25 lines of text, line, shape, or a mixture of those. Is this what your which, like, watch thing does? Yeah, the static visual effect. It, it's just, so what's a static visual effect? Just Yeah. Uh, can I try my best at uh, fixing it? <laughs> I mean, I suppose. That would be I most mean... appreciated. Hmm. 
Really, Brian? <laughs> really? <laughs> Sounds like you owe this man a watch. <laughs> Did you break my watch? There's a horrible screeching sound from Brian's side. Oh, God. The, the funny thing is, so Finbild looks at this watch. Uh, he, he pulls out. What tools do you have on you, Brian? Your... My tinkerer's tools. You pull out your tinkerer's tools. You, you start fiddling with it. Actually, no, I don't it. actually have the tools, just the proficiency. So never oh, mind. Okay. So, so what you do have what navigators tools and thieves tools. So basically, between the thieves tools and your navigators tools, you start just and a using crowbar. small, small. You're using a crowbar. By what? <laughs> yeah, uh, you're you're messing with it, and and suddenly, suddenly, magic. Like you get something that starts ticking. It seems every single tick is a second a second long and after 60 ticks that's that's a minute hmm this this seems to be working now and you see you see two little hands go across moving around and you're like oh that that hand tells the the hand tells the hours so that hand tells the minute yeah it looks like you could tell time using this thing now oh thank you hasn't been working for a while yeah see uh the trick is or... you gotta hit it really hard with the crowbar um but just at the right angle oh i didn't have a crowbar why didn't i think of that oh wow congratulations <laughs> congratulations ryan <laughs> there will be no more i'm sure but yeah, congratulations that blew my load that's it so that's how it always goes. You roll high for uh, out of combat, and in combat you die. Well, I mean, actually, I did pretty good last combat, so don't jinx yourself, please. Yeah, no, this that means the <laughs> next combat I'm totally dead. <laughs> well, Finn, do you hand back this this watch thing to? No, I'm not some sort of thief. Come on, you're not from Bremen. I hope. Wait, but before I do. I ask him, you're not from around here, right? No, oh, I, I just came through uh, through a caravan. Uh, we were looking for the trading caravan, right? This is uh, out of uh, my character's voice. Yes, you, you're looking for, for Torgs, mm -hmm. which is a trading caravan that goes around 10 towns. Uh, mm -hmm. You think that uh, she might have one of, your, one of the books that you've been looking for, for yes. sale. Yes. Oh, that's uh, interesting. We're also looking for Torg. Oh, really? For, what are you looking for for them? For reasons. For reasons? Um, oh, my reasons are uh, related to my studies. Yeah, studies. That's exactly what we're we're going to uh, study. Some individuals there. Oh. Yeah. Makers. I know a little bit of celestials. Are, are they are they celestial or what kind of nature are they? Well, I know a little part. Dwarf and uh, ooh. Um, ooh, I actually dwarves. The other one. Dwarves are a little out of my expertise. I only studied uh more magical kind of uh creatures and beings. Would you by chance know anything about a Chowinga? Chowinga. Apparently, uh, they're elementals. Oh, I but do know the lantern. Uh, I, I I had the lantern. Did you happen to pull it out? I mean, I've been holding it. Is it lit or not lit? Remember, you, it, you it's turned been it lit off. the whole time. Yeah, before we entered Bremen, we lit it up. Okay, all right. Oh, so well, did I light it up too? Sorry, it it is still a normal color lantern. So that means no chewing us within 300 feet of the lantern. Thing is useless. I mean, I did study a bit of primordial back in the day. Uh, I think I for uh, a chewing, I would roll history. Or. 
Uh, yeah, I would go with uh history or or nature. Uh, oh, just throw, the dice throw tower, it to the tower, yeah. Whenever you make intelligence history check related to magic items, alchemic objects, okay, that's not related. Okay. Uh, you said towards a dice tower. Yep. Oh, the thing right there. I see it. All right. Uh, you think in maybe one one of your books, you, you've come across some 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 history of a thing named Chewinga, but they were in Chol. They're they're little tiny elementals. Um, they seem a little bit flighty, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, they they were they're around Chol. You've <clears throat> never heard of anything any Chewingas on the Sword Coast. Yeah, I've never heard any Chewingas on the Sword Coast. They're usually around uh, Chol. Was it Chol? Chol. Never heard of it. Uh, let me look at the map. How far away? Oh, it deleted the maps off the bottom of my thing. Great. Oh, because you change your character. Yeah. If you want uh, to. If you click on notes, uh, if you click on our, our Icewind Dale story, there's a whole bunch of uh images and stuff that i've been yeah okay there you go and you should have the map in there uh both the sword coast and all right so then tally and cora are going to come on they're going to come over with soup for everyone what, what kind of soup is this um, well, sadly, I, I, we only have knucklehead trout and um, so maybe some mushrooms, as as he said. But you know, it, it's a good stew: knucklehead trout and mushrooms. I can't partake. Oh, are you vegetarian? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean. I mean, I, I can eat the fish off of yours, and you can have the my mushrooms. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I could I could spoon out a bowl with just the, the mushrooms. No, it's been cooked in the same broth. I'll just I'll just eat one of my mushrooms. It's okay. Okay. Um. Oh, I mean, Tally here. Uh, this is Cora talking. She's she's she told me guys that that you would be heading off in the morning. Perhaps over the water. Yes. Yeah, it seems that uh, the best way to make it to uh, Lonelywood would be across the sea, or the lake, I should say. Oh well, I mean, if you continue to uh, adventure, would you perhaps um, check 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 in with my son? He he's in. One of one of the castles in the air. One of the castles in ten towns. Um, I know there's only two towns. Um, I believe it's at uh, Care Deneval and um Care. Um, of course, my mind blanks. It happens. Um. <laughs> um yeah, but my son Huar. Um, he he left. It. I mean, he he was always very helpful around here and. I've just been worried about him lately because he, he went off with two tieflings after it seemed like he had some kind of personality change. Suddenly, for some reason, he was very mean. Oh, I'm I'm not telling this story right. It, uh, I mean, you don't, you're just here for the night. You don't want to hear about my issues. And she, she drops off the stew for everyone. No, no, it's okay. You don't have to worry about it. So when you say they were turning mean, um, was it because of the general location that's next to Bremen or, or a different type of mean? <laughs> what, what do you mean general location? No, I mean, he's always been a, a good son. He would help me around the inn. Uh, no issue. 
And then one one time we were going to help the speaker, you know, our, our speaker in Bremen, he, he's getting a bit old and sometimes get gets lost and we have to, you know, he, he goes missing and, and our the town has to go out and try to find him these days, you know, just old, old getting old. Um, but but my son went to go find him one day and he got separated from everyone else and he didn't come back until the next morning. And he was hurt, of course, but for some reason, he was just suddenly being like that one night away. His his personality just just changed. I, I don't know what happened. He had, I mean, one day I walked into his room and the, he's holding some sort of shard of something and he tried to hide it and, and scream bloody murder uh, at me when I tried to take it away and o- almost left to kill me if I even went near it. And and then the next day, there two tieflings showed up with and and they he went with them, for so they had these this black ice too. Did he start you, eating with forks? She she's gonna look. I mean, that everyone eats with forks. Need to I need with forks. But, oh, I mean, I, I I'm I'm eating too. my soup with a fork. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm most gonna people. Take, I'm gonna take the fork from you and, and bend it. No. Car is just gonna. Oh, please don't. Uh. It's a please, good thing please. I have a I have a, it's a good thing I have a spare a fork. I have I have spoons for the soup, but please, please, please don't harm the silverware. We don't get much chance to trade for new ones here. Um. And she takes the fork back and tries to bend it back. She's like, but please, if, if you're traveling around ten towns, would you do you mind looking in uh, on my son for me? I mean, his name's Guar, um, and he he's in one of the towns that have a castle, either Care Dinval or or Care Conic. Um, what does your son look like? Uh, she's she's gonna explain that he's um. Trying to look through this quickly, of course. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh yeah, human, human. She'll she'll expl- describe like a human-looking, tall fellow, you know, normal kind of person, black hair. Mm-hmm. It'll just like, um, I'm really worried about my son. Can you please go go find him? I mean, uh. If if you find him, let him know that you know I I love him and I always have a place for him. If if he wants to come back home, if you find him, you better stop using forks. Uh, well, I I don't see what using forks has to do with it, but everything, everything. I bet you those shards were fork shaped too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking exactly. I have no idea what this is about forks. I just like eating my soup with forks. What's wrong with a fork? Your it's soup, you can just drink from the bowl or use a spoon to. No, oh, I just use a fork and that's it. <laughs> I mean, leaving the broth behind—that's that's where all the nutrients are, little one. And and she starts being all motherly. She's like, "You gotta get your nutrients, little one, or else when? How are you gonna grow up nice, big, and strong?" Well, I'm hoping to hit the growth spurt, but it's been about a hundred years, uh, give or take. Oh, yes, uh, you know, maybe. Ah, when you're that size, you really don't need nutrients. Meanwhile, she oh, noticed that you're starting on your second bowl, Lara. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, do you want something more to to drink, Mister Grattlebone? Oh. Well, of course. It's not like one bowl is enough, right? Well, not for you, but, you know. <laughs> and Sally's gonna look. She's like, I I would, I wish I could pay for this, this meal for you, but, uh, I mean, I, we're all hurting here, so if you have any spare change, and you could give Cora. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. She won't ask for payment, but you know anything you could give these days is her in to keep her in from 
sailing. No, nobody much visits Bremen. No, and I have no idea how much money I even have. I'll go through that with you at the end. Yeah. We'll fill all out right. your your inventory and all that. Yeah, because I would figure out like how much I would actually pay for the, the bulls. I mean, mostly I think like two silver pieces for a good good meal and a night stay. Yeah, I would probably pay that. Maybe give her three. The dice to be nice. say I am unmoved. You moved. What did aren't you say? You, aren't you hurting as much financially as everyone else up here, though, Brian? Yes, up until um, we made bank. That's true. That's true. true. That's true. Yeah, well, we My fantasy grounds bank. froze. Back. Like... You guys made a bank? <laughs> I made a few coppers. That's all we're talking about. Uh, yes, uh, coppers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. I'm gonna give the uh, three silver for my meal, begrudgingly. I thought they said two. I was the one gonna give three because I'm nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm also I'm nice. Nice, but begrudgingly nice. Jake, can you, can you kick me? My game crashed and I can't log back in now because it says that I'm already in there. Yep. Oh, now it's working. Oh, there you Sorry. Go. Yep. You connected, disconnected, and connected again. There you go. All right. Well. Cora is going to see you guys put some silver on the table and she's like oh thank you thank you very much I, I know everybody's struggling and, and I wasn't going to ask and, but yeah thank you thank you very much I had rooms made up for you guys you, you should each have your own room um, thank you please, you please stay there and, and, and for, that, for that money I'll, I'll have soup for you in the morning too thank you. I'm going to go up to Cora and, uh, and look her dead in the eye, give her 10 gold and say, throw away all your silverware, sell it, I don't care. Keep the spoons, buy new spoons. What is up with the... I really don't understand the forks. Cora's gonna look down at Bob. She's like, I, I can't, I can't take this. Not, no, not, not in any... I, no, it. there's too much. Take it. Take it. Stop <laughs> using forks. Well, I mean, I, I'm an in. I only need, I mean, whoever use, could use whatever utensil they want. Well, just give them, sp uh, give them spoons. Okay, if they I'll, need I'll, it. I'll give everyone a spoon. It, yes. You could, you could give them a spork. <laughs> and I show them my new vegetable spork. Sporks are blasphemy. Even worse Ooh. than fork. Spork, what's that? It's like a spoon, but with a fork. You see, like the right at the right at the tip, it has little like little like corner, little pieces, so that you can actually stab things with, like a fork. I turn towards. But Bob. you could also hold soup. Is is that half blasphemy or double blasphemy? Double. <laughs> double. It's it's pure heresy. <laughs> So Cora's gonna start taking Tally's hand and, and crying and Tally's gonna take her over to the bar and, and console her because she's just crying and happiness and tears at the generosity of Bob. And uh she's like, Your your rooms are open if you wanna take them. Um hey. but yeah, I mean it's it's only seven PM, so it's Did you guys kind of want to turn in for the night? Uh, or I'm maybe just want to go and travel through um, Bremen and just remark on how better Targos is at every stop of the way. <laughs> All mm. right. Well, well remember, like... there is the Five Tavern Center. So. Um... I will join Finbald on his, yeah. on his journey to curse out the town. Okay. So there are five different taverns. They're called Stones, Even Keel, The River's Mouth, mm -hmm. Grumpy Goose, and The Black Bearded Brother. Ooh, Grumpy Goose. All, right. all of that in Bremen? Is that what you just said? Yeah. So there's that, that five tavern center. 
the, there's ah, the, I see. Okay. you're down there in buried treasure if you notice bremen does not have a town fence like targos did and ben shandir it's just open and then it has the two little dots oh oh it's open and we're sleeping the night in the building that is closest to the edge lovely mm -hmm. <laughs> yep uh, that's that's the only inn in bremen uh, oh we're in the five tavern center well, no, you're in Bury Treasures down at the bottom. Oh, okay, uh, I see where it is. Yep. And then, but if you go out right now, you could go carousing. The five tavern centers, there's five taverns. Mm -hmm. um, Brian, you would know that the history of this is apparently there were five brothers, and they were going to build a tavern together in Bremen, but none of the brothers mm -hmm. wanted to work for the other brother, so they each built their own tavern. Wow. Classic. So, I mean, you could go from tavern to tavern to tavern drinking if you wish. But okay. yes. Uh, but if you if you do roll a one d six, and that's how much uh, silver pieces you spend on on drinking the night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I don't want I'm, to get uh, absolutely plastered to for dead I in Bremen. I I kind of <laughs> I I kind of want to join you. I mean, are you well, saying this? The merrier. Um, you know, we're actually getting out of town real quick after this. If I uh, oh, we're going after the caravan, right? Well, yeah, we were actually planning on not following the caravan. Oh, you know, meeting it off at the um, Lonelywood, where it was supposed to be headed. Hmm. I don't know if you're used to traveling through these parts, but uh, well, I haven't difficult. left uh, in ten plus years, so a little exploring would be nice. <laughs> remember, I don't remember how long I've been there. Have you ever had alcohol, yes. uh, third little man? Third little one. <laughs> Sorry. Um, uh, Callahan. I, thank you. Sorry. I have to rethink my classification systems now. Wow. Yes, I've, I've drank many times before. Most of the time, my company just tends to be books. I don't think we'll find many books here. Well, I, well, I... well it happens. At least this time it will be with people this time instead of little stick figures that I've made. Oh. You're welcome to get crunk with us. Before okay. I leave the, um, the buried treasure, I'm going to see if I can find any shady looking people. Uh, well, I mean, shadier than I mean it, it's a tavern full of people from Bremen. And, uh, who are all dressed up in their winter gear, you know, drinking to themselves, being quiet, because it's been winter for two years, so you're pretty sure all of them are shady. Uh, I want to see if I can find any shadier individuals and using my thieves camp and uh, saying stuff in code, um, asking if anyone is perhaps a fence. You know? you know what, Brian? Uh, roll me a percentage in the tower. You know, now that I think about this, Finbald looks a little, a little shady himself. Oh wait, tower. Wow. Okay. You actually happen to find someone who answers back in thieves' tent. Like, I'm not, but there's someone over at the bearded brother. He says the key word is uh, key. <laughs> so key is key. The key, yeah, the key word. You just have to work key in into the sentence. You Bremenites, you know, you're not the anyway. Um, yeah. Well, thank you uh, very much. I 
to the uh, wait, which 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 part was it again? The bearded brother. Bearded brother. Yes, there there's there's five taverns. One is the stones. One's even keeled. One's the reverse mouth. One's the grumpy moose. And the last one is the black bearded brother. Oh, I thought oh. it was the goose. The moose no. is even better. Grumpy moose. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to not go to that one first and start getting my drink on at other places. Namely, the drunken moose. Or the All drunken right. Moose. So I, I need everyone to give out, out in the open. I need you to give me a 1d6 roll. That's mm -hmm. how many silver pieces you spend. Ah, you guys are, are getting... Oh, yeah. And, and then I, I need you, everyone, to roll me a constitution. Anything below a 12. Yep. Uh, no, just a constitution check. Anything oh. below a 12, and you're basically stone drunk. I'm, I'm smashed. Wow. Um, Bunch of friggin' lightweights. Rattlebone, you're kind of. I'm only like two feet. <laughs> carrying slash dragging Nash and Callahan home. Thankfully, Finn it could help you with Callahan a little bit. Oh, but I'm not. I'm, I'm playing with a. I'm playing with a clockwork dragon. <laughs> wait, wait. We have to subtract our own silver, correct? Yes. Yes, please. So that, that was really, really a reminder. And it is yep. 10 silver per gold? Yep. But, yeah. Hey, yeah, I, hey I, 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 I didn't spend that much, and I'm already drunk. I'm just glad to be tiny. Well, Finn and Rattlebone seem to have spent the most, but they seem to be handling their drinks well. It's, it's <laughs> you know... Well, they, what they, are they these guys weigh, like, 30 pounds? Well, well you're assuming that... <laughs> These people didn't just upcharge Finn because he's from a town they don't get along with. <laughs> no, I paid extra for the good stuff. No, Finn, then you must, Finn, you must have been like ripped off because you're not even drunk. Yeah, fifty percent of it was pee. They really <laughs> don't get along. <laughs> hey, that's better than the ninety-eight percent that they normally serve you. That's because they serve fish piss up here. Hey, this piss was laced with alcohol. <laughs> for me, at least. Uh, and do, the question is, do you get to the black bearded brother before they get really trashed, or or do you yeah, head there? The uh, and the dice agreed with me. So yeah. that that you get there, but they're trash. So Rathbone, are you going with Finn, or are you carrying those drunks home, Nash and? Uh... Where's Finn going? Finn's going to the black bearded brother. Oh, we've got another place to go? Yeah, There's five taverns. five taverns. We can just pile these guys in the corner somewhere. <laughs> right? I mean, no, that wouldn't be right. Um, we should at least get them back to the buried treasure. Go ahead and get, 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 get to the end by myself. You don't need to help me. It's like 500 feet. A few more drinks and they'll be unconscious. I mean, come on. You're unconscious. As he spins in her circle. <laughs> the twirl. Uh, I'm not going to be able to, well, get Nash here back, so a little help here, Rattlebone. Ah, jeez. <laughs> carry their tents, carry their gear, carry their drunken bodies. Damn. Hey, I'm not sure these guys have much use for us. Around, around the island, we're done with this. We'll drag them, drag them back to the. I'm a dragon. You see, look, I have a little tiny dragon. And then I have a little clockwork toy that I'm playing with. That's a dragon. Sure, he doesn't lose that. <laughs> yeah. So we get him back to the uh, buried treasure, or yeah, 
Yep, you get them back to the buried treasure just fine. Uh, Kara's, uh, Kara's just taking care of stuff. Ta Pally's still standing over by the bar. Um, Bob, did you stay in for the night of drunkenness? Yes, Bob would stay in and look for and try to ask them if they have any wood. Just like a small yeah. lock or something. Kara would give you a, a, a piece. Uh, and then I would whittle it into a bunch of spoons. So after about two hours, Rattlebone comes back with Nash and uh, Callahan, and they're plenty drunk. But Finn asks if you could watch over them and make sure they don't wander off and they stay in the rooms. And then uh, Rattlebone and Finn will head out, I assume. Are you going with him, Rattlebone? Of course. I'm not done drinking yet. Alright, Finn. You and Rattlebone head out together. Are you going to head to the uh, Blackbeard brother now? Yes. That is the plan. I'm going to sneak out and follow them. <laughs> uh, Bob, would you be making a perception check there? No, I'd be too busy. With the spoons, because I am consecrating them by praying over them. All right. Well, uh, would uh, Finn or Rattlebone care to make any perception checks as you leave? I don't know if your characters would even bother looking, but well, I'm a little paranoid being, you know, being a bugbear in uh, human town, so. Uh, Always got my eye to the to shitheads. <laughs> wow. All right, so I would like Callahan to give me a stealth in the tower. Okay. Own a nice little perception in the tower. Yeah, Rattlebone, you don't see anything. I mean, Finn was telling you how to order the best drinks, and you you were really really listening in there because. Apparently, you don't think you were getting your money's worth. So he's he's <laughs> trying to tell you exactly how to order in Bremen for to to just to get the right quality. Callahan, you're you're sneaking behind them, and it, it's strange you you're giggling about it. So you would think they would notice, but no, you seem fine. Yeah, my passive like perception is eight. You know. <laughs> All the insults of the town. It's eight. Well, I'm really tiny, so they probably only hear like a hee 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 or something. I don't Rattlebone, know. Rattlebone, you were a bit distracted there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Oof. Yep. Anyways, uh, so yeah, you guys head to the bearded brother and you head on in. So I'm gonna, uh, buy, um, Rattlebone a drink, like I said I would, and uh, basically pay for him, mm -hmm. um, and uh, <coughs> pay for my stuff as well, but not drink yet. All right, just whirl a one piece. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm there going go. for him as well. Mm -hmm. I'm paying for his stuff. That's good. And then I'm gonna, you know, basically mention. Ah oh, man, I wish I had a uh, key. <clears throat> so in the in the corner of the tavern, somebody's head's gonna look up and start waving you over. Uh, he's he's sitting at a a table in the corner. It's kind of dark and dingy. And do you head there? Yep. All right, Rattlewell, and you go with him. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This guy's it's gonna look at you. It's like I heard you're looking for a key. Yeah, um, a couple of keys actually. Uh, you wouldn't by chance happen to know where I can find any fancy schmancy books around here, would I? Books, fancy, fancy books. Uh, no, don't don't have one of those in, in my drawers. Uh, I mean. You probably have to check with all the other general stores and hen towns. Uh, oh, I've heard something about a, a library, maybe. 
out hidden in all this snow underground, but you know, those are just rumors. Um, just oh, am I still following them or because I wanted yes. to know if like I pricked up at the books or library? You you would have seen them uh walk into the bar, but you're mm -hmm. trying to stay hidden. Mm -hmm. So you would walk quietly into the tavern and the, they somehow still haven't noticed you. You're trying to stick to the shadows and be really sneaky. So are you listening in on this conversation? Yes, because I want if especially if they talked about books in library, that just kind of like perks my interest. Oh, at this point I would be trying to perceive because well, I'm trying, trying to, to be sneaky stuff. All right, um, in the tower. Uh, you don't have to do anything, Callahan. Just okay. Then he needs to beat your stealth roll. Okay. Uh, perception check. Yep. I don't even know what I rolled for my perception or the stealth. Yeah, yeah. You don't know how stealthy you're building, uh, Finn. You, you notice a tiny little gnomish tee hee hee in a corner. Uh, and you turn, you look, and there's your tiny rock gnome companion, well, new companion, just giggling in the corner, still drunk. I'm going to turn to Rattlebone. Hey, uh, Rattlebone, um, looks like you didn't tuck this one in. And uh, I'm going to wave Callahan over. Man, they they see you. They, <coughs> do you walk up to them, especially after hearing the word books? Yes. He's like, uh, uh the guy the fence is gonna look between. He's with you guys. Yeah, he's cool. Um, I heard something about little, books. Odd though, but he's cool. Um, he's actually the one I'm asking for. Um, oh, you're sweet. You didn't have to do that. This is going to give you a weird side on Ben. So you said something about a library, right? Well, uh, I mean, there there's a rumor that that the the Netherese, uh tower fell down somewhere somewhere in the tundra and, and went. You know, those were the back in the days that they had they had flying cities and. And then they just crash, and there's a rumor that one's buried under the ice somewhere. But, I mean, I, I don't know where it is. Catch all that, Callahan? Might be I heard about that. Book out there after all. So but away. why do you need my services? I mean, oh, oh no, no. I'm just asking for him. Um, but really, what I'm asking for is if you happen to have any thieves here. Oh, oh yes, we have some of those in the back. Uh, mark, mark up, of course, though. Um, of course, of course, of course. What were you thinking about here? Twenty-seven gold pieces. I could let, uh, you know, the uh, uh, little little bit of things go. Just a collection of tools I might have. Give me five minutes. Uh, but I'll need to see your gold first. Uh, that's a bit steep for me. I wouldn't be able to afford that. Would uh, twenty gold do? They normally sell for twenty five gold, and that's that's in Luskin. Here, you know, I, I just the tra the caravan travel alone. Twenty seven gold was a steal. Um, how about a? Wait, where are we again? We're in the Bearded Brother, I believe. Yes. Uh, a tavern. And oh. I didn't yeah, know. We're busy uh, bartering here. Uh, on that note, um, what if I were to give you a scimitar and ten gold? 
Hmm. He, he'll, I, I can he'll, vouch he'll, that the scimitar works. He, he asked to see the scimitar. He wants to check the quality. I will show it to him. Ah! Black iron. It's not mm. black iron, actually. Well, oh, yes. Uh, goblin make. Eh. Eh, well, eh, t you say 10 gold on top of this? Yep. He'll spit in his hand and hand it out. Hand out the keys to it, you mean? No, hand out his hand. Oh. I think he wants your hand. Uh, yeah, um... And then I'll give him my hand. Alright, deal, man. And he'll... Five minutes. Uh, stay right here. He'll, he'll go into the back. Uh, he'll bring them out. And... While he's in the back, I just kind of, like, whisper into Fimblin's ear, You're a thief? No, no, no. That's no, 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 illegal. No, no. I'm not a... Thief. I merely am engaged in certain activities that thieves might often find themselves in. Oh, that makes sense. sense. He, he comes back out, Brian. He hands you your a, a nice leather uh, package full of uh, like a roll of tools. You unroll it, and it, there's your thieves' tools. Sweet. All right, I'll. Take off the scimitar and the ten gold. So, Rattlebone, do you think say anything to him when you he buys those tools? No. It was nice knowing you, Gold. I still have your bloodstone. Yeah, but your bloodstone. Uh, I thank him, and uh, I let uh, I let Callahan uh, do any talking that he might need to do with the uh, any more information about his books. Callahan's really drunk, so <laughs> so he he's basically just looking around, bleary eyed, and and saying, "I like books. I really like books. Books are the greatest." They are. I miss oh. my books. Yep, so that, that, that goes on for a while. Uh, are you guys going to head to the next tavern? Uh, we still didn't roll for this one. Oh, oh yeah. Constitution rolls. Uh, fin, fin, oh, did, we have, did we roll cost? Ryan paid for, you. paid for you. So, just roll the one. 2d6? Is that what we're rolling for cost? I'm sorry. No, no uh, I, I Brian rolled you pay for me. I don't like this. This is good. Yep. Uh oh. Finn, you you knock back that drink. You definitely ordered the good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh shit! I have a second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Rattlebone. Finn. <laughs> now you gotta carry me. <laughs> Finn knows exactly how to how to order the good stuff. So. So this is uh, no fair. I want to order more. So so yeah, uh, Bob, you're woken up by the sound of a large crash and car screaming. Oh my! From from the front. Do you go check it out? No, I'm uh, still making. Oh man, I wanted to get more drinks too. All right. So yeah, um, basically. Have a passive perception of eight. Yeah, no, this is this is loud enough. You would definitely recognize this going on. Okay, uh, and I would I would go up in the front and be like, "What's going on?" Yeah, so you see you see a rattle bone draped over fit like with one arm, one hand on the top of the head of each of Callahan, and the other hand on top of Finn's hand, and they're just all stumbling together and, and bubbling. <laughs> See, I found the use for them. They're like training wheels. <laughs> See me at first. <laughs> and so, do you help Cora try to steer them to bed? A battle um, rattle, b bony rattle. Um, 
You're making my head crush. What? Well, I'm not carrying anything. How much does Rattlebone weigh? <laughs> <A lot. laughs> um, <laughs> Rattlebone weighs um, 250 pounds, butt-ass naked. <laughs> How are we carrying him? It's not so much <laughs> carrying, as I said, like... Oh, dragging. It, it's more like his hand is on, on Callahan's head, his other hand's on Finn, and all three of you are weaving into walls and and leaning on <laughs> slash stumbling over each other and yeah it's it's a but think think of a circus it's it's yeah it's, yeah. it's a mess yeah circus <laughs> i mean do do you try to help the poor cora get the three of them to bed yeah i'll pick up right over and i'll take them to bed with my my huge cobalt muscles. I think I think you more like try to steer him to bed, and but yes, you you use help Cora and the three of them into bed, and you guys all manage to go to sleep and wake up in the morning. No, no, no! I try to do a power power play. A power play. I'm not I'm not carrying anything. Because all my stuff is in the room. Uh huh. And I had, do have 15 strength. I want to try to lift them and <clears throat> and take them to the room. Each one. All right. No, just, you could lift, push, push, to make it slash, easy. drag. Uh -huh. So if it's just a dead lift, for you could do four. You could do rattle bone. Yeah. You could push rattle bone at 450. Because the maximum is 225. Man, he's barking in his sleep. Sorry. <laughs> uh, your max is half my movement, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so I, yeah, I you half can, my movement. You I'll just your time. bring him over. Yep. So yeah, Rattlebone, you you p seems to be picked up. Uh, it's odd. You, you suddenly. Oh, well, you're flying. You're not any taller than when you walk, but. I mean, things keep moving by sideways, Rattlebone. I've seen that before. Alright, I'll take him to the What? Two people talked at the same time, I didn't hear him. Who is carrying me? Bob? Yeah. All right, Randall Bonus, get you to bed. I just started drinking. Uh, you're all tuckered out. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll bring him to the bed and I'll tuck him in. Randall Bone, you, you've never quite been tucked in in bed since, gosh, you were tucked into whatever your mom called the bed when you were a baby. It's been a while. It's been a while. I'll say, night, Mom. Night. And I'll go over to my room where I'll look over at the spoon that I was whittling that I carved in half because of the loud noise that made, startled me. Say, God damn it. <laughs> and I'll go off and wait. Wait, aren't you a paladin? Shouldn't you say, You're God damn it? Curses. I'll just say curses <laughs> then. Uh, did you help Cora with both Ben and Callahan as well? Yeah, I guess so. All right. I think Cora can manage with us after I carry him. We're like 30 pounds each. Oh, you're strong. Do you work out? All right, guys. Well, we all get... Uh, let's see. Hold on. That's not the next action. Finn. When he's carrying me, I squeeze his muscles. You guys get a nice long rest. Congrats. Oh, by so, the way, uh, if you look I, at the calendar, just... it's the third of Tarshok. Tarshak. Tarshak. Mm hmm That's the third. You wake up in the morning. Um I mean you all all 
all four of you wake up with hangovers because <clears throat> oh, yeah that that was pretty big con failures yeah they got a two <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, the other guys saved, but, but, then they drank more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys all all have pretty big hangovers when you wake up in the morning. Will you make it out early or go back to bed and sleep? I would have gotten up early, asked them for some apples. Uh, Cora would give you some some dried apples that they have in the back, uh, dried sliced apples. Okay. Uh, how much? Uh, just gonna say two silver. It, it's like enough for a meal, so that's your breakfast. What do I go? Actually, no. Everybody. You paid for it yesterday. She would look at yeah. you like you don't you don't pay me anything. You no, you paid fine. enough. No, no, that's for the spoons. Get yourself some nice spoons. Of course, of course. Just here, here's the apple. They're on the house. Consider it part of last night's payment. Remember, I said breakfast would be included. Okay. So then I will take this to the apples, and then first go to Callahan. Hey. Good hey. morning. Good morning. Here's some apples. Oh, okay. All right. Then I'll go over to Rattlebone. Hey. What? Hey. hey, apples. Eat the apples. Why? Just, just trust me. Eat the apples. Then I'll leave. Do the same thing with everybody else. Bring them apples. No, like, uh, all those apples now. Then I'll go back to my room. Collect my things. All right. Nash, do you have interacted with him waking you up to have apples? I'll eat. I'll eat some apples. I don't even know if we have a real perception of what time is in this northern area. Oh, we would. So know. I never know what <laughs> I never know what to think when I get up. I mean, you know you're hungover. That's what time it is. It is <laughs> over a clock. Okay. Well, I'm the one for watch. Yeah, yeah. I'll get up. What are the other consequences to us being hungover? Are there any? Uh, I mean, no, it's just a, just a matter of you, you, you have a headache, you know, one of those bad morning wake up things. Well, at least it's not bright out here. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's really no light to speak of, so. I'm more of a just surprised that I was able to sneak out in the first place. Wow. Yeah, you were de decently stealthy. Because <laughs> it's so, tiny. You guys head on out. Uh, Tally's not there. What Cora Cora tells you. Um, Tally said if, if you find the monster, just just uh, write notes about it and and bring it back, and she'll she'll thank you for it. And also, if you you see my son, tell him tell him you know I still miss him. Uh, we'll do. And uh, you just uh, make sure you get all those spoons in. She's got to nod her head. Like, oh, um, Tally was wondering if you're going to take Barrelbor up on his offer and take his boats? Uh, that's a good question. I think we have to. That's the only way we're going to catch up now at this pace. It's always been the best idea. I will be by the fire playing his flute. Very important, I guess, before we go out there. Does everyone here know how to swim? 
Uh, do I even know how to swim? That's a question. I think so. I mean, for sure, Finn and Rattlebone would know how to swim. Uh, uh, swimming would be acrobatics or athletics? Maybe it's uh, athletics to swim through the water. Uh, yeah, it's athletics. What about plus one again? Just, just remember, uh, <coughs> cold water. So it gotta will... live long enough to swim. Yeah, it, it it will start to kill you if you fall into the water, which is why at Targos, uh, the um, person there was trying, or not Targos, but um, the person at Black Iron Blades was trying to sell you, you know, more cold weather gear. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the dice decide if I know how to swim. Odds are I don't. Even I do. Okay, I know how to swim. Uh, and Bob, uh, people are putting their their fingers in their ears and moving things around and looking at you, peering over. They're like, um, I think you need to tune that thing. Uh, it sounds like a dying cat right now. He made a performance check in the tower. Yeah, I'm so, playing this, but I'm he's, streaking through the yeah, air. It, it, it sounds like a dying cat. Like, they're, they're, yeah. Like, some wow. notes are just holding me. Wow. Yeah. I'm in okay, just a minute. All right. So, I mean, do you guys head out? Yeah, I'm totally done with this town. All right. I feel so, that. Yep. Yeah, let's get head out. All right. You you go to the docks. Uh, in, in Bremen and Variable are waiting for you. So you guys taking me up on my offer? You take out my two boats, and uh, you you bring me back some knucklehead trout. Uh, yeah. But uh, the thing is, um, we are going to try and catch the most fish that we possibly could and um, the biggest ones the ones that only come out at night and um, yeah we're going to need to uh, hold on to these boats a little bit uh, longer than a day to potentially catch these big fish it's going to start start stroking his long dwarven beard it's like well you bring me back enough fish, it'd be perfectly fine. I, I mean, I, I need a crew. I, I need a crew to go fishing for me. So, yeah, just just bring me back some some trout. You keep those boats for for two days. But I need I need at least five trout to make it worth my while. Oh yeah, you can count on that. All right. He shakes Biggest his hand. Biggest trout you'll ever see. All right. And shakes his hand. Sh shakes his hand. Shakes your hand, Finn. And he's like, well, there's two boats. One of them, there's a small little bite taken out of it. But you know, you you looked into that yesterday. Does anybody have harpoons for sale around here? I'll ask him. Uh, harpoons? Uh, no. I don't. I mean, it. You you might have to go to Bryn Chandir or, or or maybe even Targos. Targos has a big thing of fishing vessels. Uh, we're we're a little bit smaller here in Bremen. I'll uh say that uh, we have uh, grappling hooks that we could potentially use, but no harpoons. I mean, the, each of the boat, like, uh, what is it? Uh, Barabor is going to say each of the boat has three sets of fishing tackle, so you just need to use that for the knucklehead trout. I uh, put, I stocked each boat with bait, so you guys should be good to go. All right, are we doing this, guys? Let's do it. Let's so. Bring his boats? Yeah. Let's go. We'll say right. 
and he'll stand right by the boat and look at the boat, look at the water, look at the boat, look at the water, look at the boat. And his he is visually like his legs are shaking, but he's he looks like he's trying to power through it, but he can't move. Right. Finbelt's just gonna hop right in the boat like it's second nature because it is. All right, so these are two person rowboats. I thought we had to drag them to the water first. Yep. You notice the dock is kind of frozen over. So you do need to drag the rowboats across the ice to the water first. Yeah, I'm going to jump in and I'm going to kick flip the boat all the way to the water. I'll grab the bow line of one and start dragging it. I'll uh, get the other boat. And not make it very far. I'll, I'll shakily try to help him push the boat. But I'm going to do it at a disadvantage because I'm scared of the water. Would I uh, notice him um, being cheeky being... about this? Uh, you don't seem to feel like you're getting any help from pushing the boat at all. Um, I'll turn over to Bob and be like, don't you worry. The ice is going to be nice and thick here. You don't have to worry about uh, falling into the water until we get uh, quite a distance in. Does that help your fears there? I mean, Bob is still scared. <laughs> That's fair. Well, well, I don't know. All right, so it's about nine in the morning when when you guys leave and start pushing the boats. You use about an hour just pushing the boats to the water. You get about there, and you could actually get in the boats now. Joy. Hold on one second. Can you see you guys or no? Can you see the map? No. I can see nothing but black. Oh, yes. Dankness. Absolute darkness. Okay. Uh, how do you guys want to split up the party? I say uh, Nash vote and Rattlebone on the other, but Bob Callahan and Finn, the three of you, do you decide who gets split? Um. I figure um, whoever looks the most sea capable would go on to the other boat. What do you mean, sea capable? Like, you know, yeah. out of these other three, boat. are you serious? Say again? I, are you saying out of the other three, who looks seaworthy? Yeah, basically. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Well, I put uh, Finn here with Caliban because you're both small. Um, and then with Nash, mm. actually, yeah. So, so you have three people so, since Nash is a bit smaller than the Rattlebone. Bob, you're, I think, a little bit bigger than the gnomes. So, yep. It's two on one. Wait, two we're on not one. sitting side by side. Like, so on one on one item here, it might actually have to be Rattlebone and me on the same boat if the boat's going to flip over if we have radically different weights on one end versus the other. <laughs> no, it, it, it's okay. You, you're sitting in the middle. It, it's Robo. It's pretty. It's. I think they're bigger than I made. Them. It's fine. If it's anything, no it's on my weight. Um. Actually, no. This this doesn't look pretty good. My concern's not at handling your weight. My concern is at one of the tiny men being balanced by your weight. I can sit on your lap if you want me to. 
Well, bulls are usually two to three feet tall and 35 pounds. So. I think my armor weighs more than me. Pretty sure you're 45 pounds! <laughs> what does a rock dome weigh? Alright, so the question is. Are you going to take your armor off for fishing? Because, you know, if you fall in, remember, Finn is everyone. Knucklehead trout are really strong. So. We're not fishing, are we? We're taking these things across the lake to go to cut off the. I'm not the other big guy here. Right? I mean, listen, wait, 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 wait. In truth, the little ones can probably fish along the way. There's no reason not to have the lines out. We need food anyway, right? Where we're going. Wait, we're not fishing? But we I, said we're... that we would fish for the person. Yeah, he, he did. What? <laughs> wow, y'all are y'all are slow. Wait a second. You were the one who told them we needed the boat for days. Oh my well, god. Yeah, because we need the boat for days. The boat to cut off the killer. Oh my god. <laughs> Rock gnomes only weigh 40 to 45 pounds. We're not fishing. Listen, we can do more than one thing at the same time, all right? Get the rods ready, put them in the water, we're paddling. You obviously well, don't know how to catch the trout. But I'll try my best while we, while you row. Row, row, row your boat gently so it's gonna be... Yeah, um, I'm just, I'm, I assume this is a one-person row, rowing yeah. type of boat. <laughs> It, it's it's a rowboat. There are two paddles, so two people per row, but it's going to take an hour and a half Look, either way. Are the little people really going to be able to contribute that much that isn't going to be thrown horrifically off balance by the large one? Wow. The, the damn paddle's longer than they are. Yeah. I mean, don't even, don't even. I mean, from a strength perspective, it should be fine, but just like a leverage perspective, I don't know if it's going to work out. I'm just going to start rowing. I'm just going to start rowing. All right, well, I'm going to utilize my trinket. Uh, uh, I'm going to use the uh, uh, the cloth sail that I had with a symbol on it uh -huh. and attach it to the rowboat and get rid of any uh, bremen uh sail. The Bremen logo is actually painted on the side of the boat as well. Wow. Wait a second. Wait a second. Two things here. One, you said sail. Do we have sails on this at all, or are these just conventional? I think this is a trinket. It's a trinket. It, Brian has a little trinket of sailcloth, but there's uh, no, no mass to attach it to, Brian. Well, I'm going to tie it to the side of the boat, okay. just in case. All right. That's your good luck charm? Yep. All right. And I'm going to take my bow and, and quiver and put them, you know, uh, right down beside me so that I can quickly uh, get to them if need be. So let me roll for the first hour. So what kind of armor am I wearing again? It made me think of something, but I can't do it because I don't think I would have thought of it in the game. By the way, we still don't see the map. You see it? Huh. What? I see the map. Do you see it? It's a reveal area. You should see right. the boats. I'm able to see the boats. The little map, the lake water map. Yeah, yeah. I see it. Oh, I, I see nothing but black. Do you see for the, the two tokens. boats? Hold on. Uh, here you go, Ryan. How about now? Nope. Here's what we did last night. Close, close the map, Brian. Yeah, share it again. Yeah. Now just close it, and then open your character sheet and double click your token. Nope, still nope. black. Well, damn. It's all right. Yeah, the map is black for me, too. Not my fault. 
Oh, I think you put that on you. Can you close that out, Carolahan? Yeah. There we go. All right, now? Black. Do you see the three tokens there? I see the tokens, I just see black though. Like everything well, else. Well, right now you're just rowing across the, the, the boat. Oh, okay. So, I mean, you could try, hold on, close it again. Okay. Uh, close the map. Try sending it to you one more. No, it's, yeah, I only see just the tokens. All right. Well, I guess it's fine. Let me roll. I use my imagination. Imagination. All right. Uh, so in the first hour of rolling, yeah, you guys come across another rowboat. Uh, Brian, you think you know this rowboat? Uh, it's flying the Targos flag. It's one of the uh, the cap the the captains you know that you once fish for. Do you, do you wave them down and stop them or? Oh oh, I'm going to try and hide myself in the boat, um, and basically be I'm gonna I'm gonna stealth check actually. Stealth check. I don't want to be seen on a Bremen vessel. They, it looks like they're using trawling nets. Um, they're they're kind of going around you guys. Well, kind of. Oh, oh, Finn! They notice you. Shit. Uh, they, start, they start coming closer. Hey, hey, Finn! Finn, what are you doing on a Bremen boat? Haha, <laughs> look at that, guys! Finn's on a Bremen boat! Fuck. Uh, yeah, you know, um, a funny story about that. Um, <clears throat> you know how we were always saying how bad these Bremen boats are? I really had to take one out and, uh, just see it firsthand. Oh, yeah. Like that thing's been attacked already! Yeah, yeah, look at this. I got the one with the chunk missing from it. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah, they they start laughing. They're laughing. They're like, ah, man, the boys back home, they won't believe us when we go in. Oh, we'll have, have fun fishing in your swimming boat, Finn. Just keep uh, moving. So about that. Um, yes, I'm curious about that. Uh, what did you guys catch, uh, today? Yeah, we're still trawling the nets. We're letting them out. It's still early morning, Finn. You know, you should know this. We pull in our, we just drag our nets along for a couple hours. Well, I wish you the I best see, then. See, you're using those little Bremen things. Can't even, not even big enough to have nets. Feels so bad for you. <laughs> guys, guys, we're 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 Finn, we're gonna let the guys know that you were seen on a Bremen boat. They won't believe it. Oh, it'll be a. Let's see if they actually believe you at the, the uh, tavern. Yeah. Yeah. Triglio, okay. it's gonna be the uh, talk of the town. <laughs> yep, yep. I'll have to tell everyone. So, yep, they end up heading off. <coughs> Wait, is Finn on my boat? Or the other boat. Hold on. Finn's on, on your boat. I gotta zoom in. Yep. Finn you and know, Callahan. You know, if their boat capsizes, no one hears about this. You want me to throw a javelin at them? Why would their boat capsize? It's a uh, Targos vessel. Uh, I was just noting something. Now this piece yeah. of... Ugh. All right. You that's... better uh, stay low in the boat. It, that's the first hour of your travel. And they eventually head off after, you know, getting a good laugh after seeing Finn <laughs> on. My face is going to be the reddest it could possibly be. All right. Second hour. 
Bob starts playing his flute again. Huh? Bob starts playing his flute again. All right. I'll 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 let you know what people hear. Anyways, uh, as as you're fishing in in the second hour. Uh, it's it's a lot better, um, but but still kind of screeching cat. But better, better. It's it's actually it's not screeching cat so much as just just not Finn's cup of tea. It's it's you know an average average song. But uh yeah, you guys start uh looking around the water at the second hour. Hold on. And of course, I have far too many windows open. So, ripples start to disrupt the surface of the lake, causing your boat to move from side to side. Suddenly, uh, actually, who would, anybody with a uh, passive perception higher than an 11 probably would see a large mass, shadow mass, like gliding through the dark water below you, underneath the ripples. It's, it's about 11 a.m. right now. So there's there's dim light outside, very dim light. Can I automate a check? Yeah, uh, I guess it would be a nature check to see if you could figure out what it is. Oh, oh yeah, you could definitely tell it's that Pleosaurus thing that. People are uh, that people are talking about. Right, I'm gonna call out. Ben, we got the beast beneath us. Grow faster. All right, boats are are moving moving over. All right, all right. Suddenly. Finn, it, it looks like this thing is going ramming speed into your boat with Nash and Callahan. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Right. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. How far away is this? Do we have do we have action time before this? Nope. Sorry, you just noticed the bubbles, and suddenly your boat feels like it's been rammed. Oh, okay. Well, so the boat's hold on alive. a second. <laughs> ah, the thing where I was pressing my right mouse button, <clears throat> so I got text saved. Uh, so that's not good. It won't let me click on anything. Hold on. What? Stuff happened. Yeah, stuff happened. Okay. Anyways, hold on. Ooh. All right. Get your boat's rammed. Take 16 damage. Guys, you're on boat two. I'm going to stop rowing and get my uh, bow. And, and uh, I need Finn, Callahan, and Nash to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, well. Dice tower or regular? Uh, regular. You, I mean, you we'll find know. out. Yeah, <laughs> you, 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 would, you would know if you... Oh, over. it was almost oh. 17. It was almost 17. Okay, so this is a... Is there anything you guys could do to help? Because this is a DC-12. So, Finn, or Callahan and Nash, do you... You fail by more than five. So, Nash and Callahan 
struggle and they fall overboard. Well, it's a good thing I have a scale mill weighing me down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nash, you you have a second a reaction moment. Do you do you try to grab Diane <clears throat> or Nash? Sorry, wait, repeat that last sentence. Uh, Finn has an a, re a reaction. Uh -huh. Does so? Does he try to grab Callahan or Nash? He will die with me if he grabs me. <laughs> um. So I'm gonna assume that. Uh, wait, Callahan is in scale mail. Uh, should I have actually even brought my armor? I probably shouldn't have. I I was asking you guys at the beginning if you keep your armor on. Well, I don't know if you actually heard that question. I don't think I did, no. Okay. Would you have taken it off on a boat? Yeah, I probably would have, yeah. Okay. You would still have your cold weather clothing on, so at least... Yeah. And your bags and stuff are in the boat. You're not, you know, wearing your backpack while in the boat, so... Yeah, so I would only weigh about, like, 40... Well, probably with, with the clothes, probably 45-ish. So, yep, Brian, like if that. you want, you have reaction to make, make an athletics check to see if you could grab them. I will try and grab the closest one, which is Callahan. Uh... Sorry, man. It's okay. Oh, wow. All wow. right. Yeah, so Callahan, you, you you fall overboard, but Finn grabs your the back of your, your cold weather clothing like immediately and drags you. You get your arms right on the rowboat, so you're right there. Um all right. Well, we're actually cold. gonna go we're we're gonna go into can I get everybody to just roll initiative? Uh yeah. Where the hell? All right. Uh, hold on one second. So many windows. So many windows, Brian. All right. There we go. I can still hear the uh, battle music start playing that uh, Chuck used to play. Hmm. Oh. That's what Rhythm Bot is for. All right, there you, you got. Do you guys see the... There we go. I believe it was the... Uh... One from Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> uh, Plesius Urus starts swimming around after it rammed you guys. It's still <clears throat> still going away further. Seems to be That's circling good. you guys. Intelligence mod plus. Well, at level. least Nash doesn't immediately die or something. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, Nash. You're you're in the water. I climb gotta... onto the boat. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get Nash potatoes out of the water. Yeah, I I try and climb onto the boat. All right, so you're gonna need to make uh, an athletic check. All right. Yeah. This is for all the potatoes. Hold on. And what's your constitution score? Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, do I make the athletics check in public? That's fine, right? I'll know. Yeah, you'll, you'll know. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, you easily oh, climb my God. Back, back up on the boat. Oh, my God. I, I no longer care. I don't want to die here, so I care a little bit less about, about secrecy or what seeing. I'm going to use prestidigitation to dry my clothing. Well, you can't do that this. until your next turn, because you use your... Uh, yeah. Interesting. Hold on one second. Am I going to... 
Am I going to take have to make a cold saving throw against that because yeah, yeah. of that? Or am I, mean, I making a cold saving throw anyway? When is yeah. my cold saving throw happening? Okay, so basically you could be immersed in frigid water for a number of midges, minutes equal to your constitution score before suffering any ill effects. So you get all, oh, oh you I had two effect. minutes. I had two minutes yeah. I could have been in there. Oh, yeah. fuck that. Sorry, You're sorry. Okay. You're good. Everyone You're pretend good. that they didn't hear me try and use magic. But, <laughs> but the problem is <laughs> you're you're your oh my god he's a witch <laughs> yeah you're you're still freezing cold and wet so yeah that that's a next turn problem this turn you're happy you climbed on the boat so if you would switch uh i mean that, that's fine for me for six seconds i think that that's a, an excellent um accomplishment towards yeah. my future survival all right um Hold End up. your turn? Yeah, sorry, I had to pull the thing up. Bob? Okay, Bob, Bob, yeah. What are we doing? Are we attacking or are we fleeing? I, I don't think we can get away from this. All right, All right Bob, Bob. We'll pull out a javelin and throw it at the awakened plesiosaurus. Let's see, here we go. Action, javelin. He says, ah. I miss. Wah, 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 wah. I throw it into the boat. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Again. It's an automatic miss. Yep. All right. Yeah. So, any bonus action or? By the way, I would like you to miss mark off that javelin as lost. Yeah. I mean, technically, it's floating in the water. Yep. Any bonus action or no. can't really have much movement. No. I'll yeah. just like I'll, I'll just make sure that my rope is still securely attached to me, and that's it. Uh, so end your turn. Yeah. Uh Rattlebone's going to kneel down in the rowboat so that he has a low center of gravity um, and take a shot at this plesiosaur with my longbow. Okay. Oh, come on. That was ooh, still ahead. Cool. All right. I am going to use my favorite foe and I am going to mark it to the plesiosaur. Set That's my a spell. bonus oh, action, right? What? Bonus action, right? To mark? Um, I think so. Da, 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 da. Um, no, it doesn't even take a bonus action. It just, I can only use it two times during the, the day. Oh, okay, cool. And then I am going to, hopefully this will work, I'm going to do damage. Damn. Nice. That worked just like it was supposed to. All right. Um, you gonna shout anything to the other boat? You know, they got their own problems. Wow. Callahan. Uh, I was just going through like my spells, and I don't think. Any of them are actually even close enough range to actually do anything against him. I do have my crossbow. Oh, the crossbow bolt that was supposed to have it. I gotta look up crossbows. So if apparently anything, your boat was had less health than it, than I thought. So uh, oh, yeah. No. No, no, it's still it's still there. It's just it it already had a bite taken out of it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, I guess we needed the handicap. No, it's all right. It's all right. You guys are still you're still up. Yeah, no, I know. I'm just saying that the the fish obviously needs the handicap. You know, because it's a fish. Mm-hmm. Uh. It was a, a light crossbow. Uh, 
don't think I have it in my inventory. No. Uh, Callahan, you're still in the water technically, but you're hanging on to the boat. Oh, then I should probably get back out of the water. Yeah. Yeah. So that's athletics. Yep. Okay. But uh, you're getting an assist from Finn, so uh, you roll with advantage. Just roll again one more time. Take the higher okay. one. Yeah, okay. you would an eleven would get you into the boat, but that's kind of like a falling over the side. Yeah. So then I'll take my action. I think that would take my action, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh I don't think I have anything to get rid of the water. I don't even think that's in a cantrip. No. I guess. Mm. No, I guess I think that's all I can really do for my turn. All right. Yeah, and your turn. Yeah, I'm. Oh, right. I forgot that it's the combat tracker. Uh, Finn, I'm going to say your action was the assist on Callahan, if you're okay with that. Okie doke. So you have a bonus action. Um, I guess I'll do, uh, dodge as my cunning okay. action. All right. <clears throat> Just in Sounds... case. Mm-hmm. Uh, next then. Oh, Bolt's turn. Oh, the plesiosaur turn. Oh no! All right. It it noticed that that it was getting shot at by the other boat. So uh, it it's gonna go ramming speed. Oof! No. All right, and then, oh, 40 feet. That's, that was only supposed to be 40. Dude. So it would end right here. Um, but hold on one second. Would have actually missed the boat. Whatever <laughs> Rattlebone was doing, he he was able to tilt the weight uh, of himself in the boat, lift it up one side, so the plesiosaur went by, but didn't didn't hit it. Nash, you are soaking wet, completely wet. You know if you don't get dry soon uh, i i have minutes right i have minutes to get well, dry that, that was in the water so hold on one second well it's actually i think the air is colder than the water is right is that my understanding yeah, of this yeah mm -hmm. fuck so if anything just go back in the water uh, yeah i was thinking about that actually i was thinking about that hold all on right one second. there is the wait don't we have to pay for the boats if these get broken no, Least that guy sent us out here. Screw him. He's oh. just gonna starve to death. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess that's okay. They didn't say anything about the boats. It was about the fish we were supposed to. Catch. Well, that is also true. Well, I guess it's future us problem. All right. Of course, smart me did not link the. Uh... It's okay. I the the reason that I ask this is because I'm trying to decide if I want to dry myself off now or give it a minute until I'm possibly thrown back in the drink again and then dry myself off. Um, doesn't matter actually. Cause... I mean, if you start to suffer from the cold, just like fall in the water. So yeah, you're exposed to cold. You have to do a DC ten Constitution saving throw. At the Over end here. of each hour, or get a level one of exhaustion. So. Oh, it's just every hour. We don't have to worry about that. That's yeah. really not that bad. All right. Yeah. You're, you're Six hours. Right now. I'm gonna be honest. In real life, 
this would be an yeah, immediate risk yeah, of okay. possible death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, you're, you're suffering from, from possible frostbite at the moment. I think we should worry more about the plesiosaurus than we should about the frost. Well, yeah. I'm not... All right. All right. Where is the plesiosaur? Is it above the water? No, it's still underneath the water. But you, you saw it try and fail right. to ram Rattlebone's boat. All right. What is what is the actual effect of like spells being shot into water in in D and D in general? I assume my character would have some idea of this. I just don't know what the. It would depend on the spell, but you could probably tell if you try to firebolt the water, it's not going to be successful, really. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right. Um... That's why you go big with the fireball. Yeah, fireball. Never went fireball fishing. It's the best. <laughs> By the way, guys, this this yeah, this attack was totally up to like the roll of dice. You, you yeah. Yay! Thanks, All guys. Right. You know what? I'm doing this. Son of a bitch. Drive myself off later. Let's see what this requires. Uh, all right, give me one second here. I'll be on the side of the boat saying, Shoot! Ha! Oh. How do I actually cast Mind Sliver on this guy right now? Uh, Hold on one second. Let me check your... All right, I changed it. Oh, I, I switched it. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, there we go. I, I changed it was actually... the display to actions. Okay. Oh, I see. It was the one on the right. It was the yeah. one on the right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. And, yep, yeah, you would basically drag that die. Go to hell, mm -hmm. guy. Go to hell. Ooh. <laughs> okay. He sailed. He, he successfully uh, shook Ignored off. It. No, no. It, it, he, you kind of didn't hit him. Also, your DC yeah. should be higher than 10 for that but i'll go through but yes yeah, so you you miss him he he kind of stops for a second shakes his head and keeps on going wow son of a, a bitch hold on one second uh spells uh... yeah okay unfortunate all right well i uh don't think i have anything else i can do here so I end my turn. <laughs> Spoon with smite. God damn it. I miss. Uh, I still have smite up. Oh, why did I lay on hands? No one. What did you? I guess until the next time I hit him. Yeah, uh, that's it. Is he shallow enough to shoot with an arrow? Yes, he tried and rammed you. So you could try to shoot him with an arrow, but you would tell it's not going to be as effective. It, uh, I'm going to say it, it'll take about half the normal arrow shot. Half damage. Actually, you know what? It probably will take the full amount of damage. It'll just be a, a negative two to hit him. Okay. For for okay. the reflection of the water and the angle falling, you know, all that fun stuff. Alright. So I'll fire away. Mm, yeah. Shit. Critically oh. hit him with a basic attack. You don't mm -hmm. critically hit him, but you do happen to shoot Bob in the back of the hand or something. <laughs> So, Keep your hands down, Bob. Tight. Yeah. Damn. So, do you just damage Bob with your attack, please. Eesh. Wait, does this bot this uh there's no armor roll on this? I guess it's just uh, a hit. No, it I just says hit. You know, yep, just says but... hit. It says critically, but I'm I'm not gonna say critically hit. So yeah. 
Bob, he shoots you in the hand. It it hurt. This is why I missed my hit. Because he shot me in the hand. Yeah, yeah you got to stop waving your arms, Bob. He's such a big target. He gets in the way of everything. Yes. Yes, yes. All right. And uh, bonus action. Oh, Callahan. You're in the boat, but you're wet. Oh. Like, Wait, why, why is my HP six? No, no, your wounds are six. Oh, my wound is six. Oops. Yeah. Yeah. Because you stuck your hand. I mean, I'm still, I'm still technically level one, so it's all fine. Yeah. Everything's perfectly balanced. Uh, if you dread, if you go to um, what is it? Your character class. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then just drag and drop the shield. You should level up to artificer level two. Wait, drop what shield? Okay, uh, hold on one second. Um, by shield, do you mean the uh, dragon axe? Dragon axe, yeah. So if you go to the dragon axe, take that, drag it over your main page. Uh, should... Did you did you get that link? I thought I sent it to you. Hold the on. artificer, the artificer class. Yep. Just drag the dragon axe at the top left, uh -huh. right on your character sheet. Hmm? Or he could click the level up button. Yeah, you could do that. But I usually just drag and drop because it. Uh... Sorry, I'm used to dragging and dropping. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> uh, level up button will just bring you back to the wizard. Yeah, it probably to the wizard, and it just says increase level one. Yeah, go. You just it says one, two to twenty. Okay. So to two, and then just save. Right. That's if it doesn't ask you to add things. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. You would right. get infusions at second level, but you'll have to read about those. There's okay, a whole bunch of ones. Okay, nineteen HP that now. There you go. Yeah, I got infuse item. I got uh. Yeah, okay, so, added. 19 hit points for an artificer? Yeah. There, oh, I have a like, plus three uh, con. They're, they're mm -hmm. like a tanky. Like one of the artificers are like a frontline fighter. They could use shield and stuff. But again, they're a half caster, so it's nice. Anyway, I, so yes, you're, you're soaking wet. Yeah. On, on the rowboat. The please do sir is under the other under <clears throat> the other boat. Uh could you be able to give me a light crossbow? Since uh that was something I think artificer start with. Yep. And twenty bolts. Cause I wanna shoot this this <laughs> Saurus. But I'm also scared not to shoot Bob. <laughs> Cause now I kinda feel bad for him. I'm gonna get shot in my back. No, I'm going to shoot your other hand. I'm calling it. It's my other hand. I'm going to have stigmata. It's like, all right, we're going to call you Jesus from now on. Bob already had a near-death experience, so he's used to this. <laughs> has flashbacks. All right, okay. I threw the light crossbow, Any so in your actions, you should... Yes, I do see it. Thank you. Right. Uh, just throw in 20 ammo, but I'll give you some crossbow bolts in a moment. Okay. I put 20 at the moment. From Wilma. Oh. So I just drag and throw. 18 a hit. I'll just drag it onto the thing, but yeah. Yeah, if you look in the combat tracker, you could drag your attack onto the plesiosaur. Oh, right. I forgot onto about the that. Plesiosaur on the map, either one. Oh, yeah. I can drag the attack roll onto him and yep, match it. The, no, 18. Mm -hmm. Just drag it and then drop it on him. Yeah. Oh, wait, that was the attack, but yes, you wow. probably would have hit. Wow. Yep, then 18 would have hit him. So, yep, you did damage to him. Congrats. All right, I did two damage. More than I did. Yep. This, is, this is true. This, this, All right. Uh, is this the I first hit on him? It. No, this is the second. Okay. Oh, next, I see the little health turn. bars. Next turn. Uh, that's yep, you have to end your cool. turn. Or yeah, your turn. Turn. No, no, I was just looking at the health bars. I just noticed that. All right, Finn. Well, I'm going to 
see the people are on the boats and uh, <coughs> try and uh, light that Plesiosaurus up. My crossbow. Sorry, my short bow. Light them up, light them up. And uh, I should be able to get sneak attack because it's right next to a uh, ally. Yep, yep, it is. Uh, Matt, I'm just going through your spells and changing the so your um, saving throw is based on your charisma because it was off. No, oh, I saw that. So that you yeah, had to make an intelligence call, right? Short sword. sword? Yeah. Short sword. You got oh, the wrong my bad. one. Uh, well, it's the same damage as short bow. You want me to roll the damage again? No, yeah. I just use it since it's the same thing. Yeah. That's the same damage, same exact rolls. It just wouldn't nice. be said. Yeah. yeah. Good amount of damage. Nice, and, uh, nice job, Ben. I'm going to tell these guys in the boat uh, you should dry off as quick as possible. One. All right. I could create a bonfire. <laughs> so, <laughs> that it's the boat's turn. It's the rowboat's turn. Uh, rowboat, yeah. please rowboat dry two. us off. Wait, right. wait. No, the the boats are are there to keep track of whether or not they, you know, break. Anyway, yeah. but please, please, you saw is gonna keep going. It's forty. I'm gonna hit it as it moves. Oh, because of attack, it's opportunity. And it's yeah. still underwater. I hit it as it tries to move away. God damn it. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and it looks like it's getting ready to Wait, ram. are you using a goddamn spoon? Yes. Oh, okay. It, it looks like the plesiosaur is getting ready to ram uh, boat number two there. Oh, Next no. turn. Oh, no. All right, Ash. Matt? Sorry. All right. Um, I am going to dry myself. And I am going to use telepathic speech and ask the creature if it can speak. Or if it understands, uh, and I'll do that in English, in common, Elvish, and Dwarvish, and see if it says anything back. Just has to know the language to be able to communicate in the language. <clears throat> this is one of those fun DM it's situations. It's going to look at you. And say, you talk? No fight? I ask, what, you hit us. But I, I was told to attack Bremen ships. We're just some people on Bremen ships. Who's telling you to attack Bremen ships? The druid who woke me up. See, I I used to just swim around the lake and eat fish, but now now I could talk and I think about other things than just eating fish. Where'd this druid wake you up from? All right, wait, wait, we're getting we're getting beyond this time. We're getting beyond this time. We're yeah. just gonna say, hey, 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 let's let, why don't we just calm down for a minute and talk this out. Meanwhile, I'm saying, shoot her. Then you might want to swim a little deeper while we talk. I don't. I can't speak for my friends right now. The head's got to go back underwater, and it, it's, it looks like it's stopped ramming speed. Bob, you know it doesn't. It looks like it stopped going ramming speed. Looks like it was actually like you heard it actually speak. Oh. It spoke, and I could hear it? Yeah. I thought he was talking telepathically. I was talking telepathically. Oh, well. 
Is it capable of speaking out loud? Yeah, you actually oh, heard Jesus. The, the plesiosaur talk. Oh, I would not have said oh. shoot her then. <laughs> actually, the plesiosaur actually, like, it, like, it was receiving your message telepathically, which is but when its head came out of water, and it talked. How fascinating. A sentient plesiosaurus. Bob, Bob will shake in his boots. And hold his action for if the plesiosaurus comes any closer and tries to attack. And I'll bop him. Rattlebone. You notice it looks. Plesiosaur doesn't look like it's going to attack. It was a druid or something. I'm still going to keep my arrow knocked on my bow, though, and let whoever. I forget who was talking to him from the other side. Ash. Yeah. Uh, I mean, people don't know that I'm speaking to it. I, I mean, we heard it talk. Yeah, I'm going to ready a shot. If it attacks again, I'll fire an arrow. Callahan, you're still you're still wet. Uh, I guess I'll try to dry myself off. What skill would that be? Or well, do you basically... press the digitation? Uh, I don't think I have that. Oh, oh no. You have to go look through your cam trips. Yeah. Um, I have frostbite. <laughs> uh. Oh, I do have press the digit. I, had, I you, do have, you have uh, the option of getting two different cam trips, I think. Yeah. At the beginning. I think press digitation is actually a really good. Yeah, just I'll take as prestigious uh, one of, as one of them, and I'll figure out the other one later. Cool. So, uh, so you your action drying yourself off. You're drying yeah. your. It, it's gonna take you more than one action to completely dry yourself off because I believe you could only uh, dry up to one cubic foot. Actually, considering how small you are, you are basically dried. I mean, I think I only have like. My feet got wet, my most, or like my legs. So I think like my arms. I mean, well, well, just clothes, to I just to bring it. this up, yeah. wait, wait, just to bring this up, clothing, clothing itself, one cubic foot of clothing is actually a considerable amount of clothing. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, I am only like two and a half feet. <laughs> His whole body's one cubic foot. <laughs> What does backpack include? You're taking your turn to to dry yourself off. Yeah. All right. Uh, Do bonus action or ending your turn? Uh, bonus action. Nah. Skip your turn. Oh yeah. (laughs) Sorry. I'm just like looking through all the spells. Please use your oh, you. Please, your sword spoke, Finn. Uh, yeah, I'm going to um. Would I happen to know if that's a common occurrence? Oh, you would know. They don't talk. They're stupid animals. In that case, I am immediately going to drop my bow, and uh, um basically start uh, praying to Umberly right there on the spot that um, she doesn't send any uh, worse creatures our way. <laughs> and Brian I'm take my turn. Her interaction. <laughs> Alright. Please, Isor, he's gonna stick his head out. No fight. You you from not for Bremen? We are just people. We are just using Bremen boats, but we don't care about Bremen. I'm I'm more interested in where you were awakened from and where this druid is. 
My little friend here hates Bremen a lot and would probably want to shake this druid's hand. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Uh, please, do, sir. I was gonna say, I, um, druid just told me to attack Bremen boats. I don't, I don't want to be a stupid beast again. Did this druid give this thing sentience? Uh, Did he awaken it? The human who who gave me the gift is called Rabbitson. He he said he was he was working for the Frostmaid. Rabbitson. Rabbitson said he said I have to do my part to help the Frostmaid, and they want they want Bremen to suffer. Wait, is that the guy we're hunting down? I'm really bad with names. No. The, new the, name. the, the Frost Maiden is the one that's made it perpetual winter here. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's the one that everyone's sacrificing to. So this is someone who serves the Frost Maiden, and the, and the guy that we're chasing, is. we're assuming he serves the Frost Maiden also. Right. So this right. might be a connected event. In a woman, dwarf. It sounds like you have a conflict of interest because you want to turn off the winter. But at the same time, you want Bremen to suffer, so it's like, eh, you know? Like, should we stop him? <laughs> I mean, the way I look at it, we don't have to particularly um, stop this thing because um, we are here to study it, and we're studying it, right? That was our, our goal? Yes, remember the the scholar said, please write down any notes you could take down uh, about the beast. So, well, got some notes here. Um, we, I want to ask it if it if the druid can be if the person who awakened it is around to speak to. Please, sir, so I was going to say no, no. After the druid woke me up, it, it went away. I. And just told me that I have to make the people of Bremen suffer. Okay. So, okay. I, I I usually just eat the fish around okay. the lake, but I'm supposed to attack the Bremen boats. Okay. So so our dinosaur friend, dinosaur friend. We're we're not Bremenese. We're just using these boats to go about our business. Your master won't even know that we've gone through here, and you can. You can happily resume any work that you you feel compelled to do, and just you know we'll be on our way. So I I could continue doing what my master told me to do and attack Bremen boats. You you, you should just remember to make sure that, to attack Bremen people who are on those boats. If you see, we have a tiny piece of sailcloth here that represents. Little man, what what town is you are you representing with this claw? Uh, Targos. 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 Like that other boat that was out here nearby a few minutes before you struck. An uh, hour before you struck. Your boat has Bremen uh, s symbol on it. Is that what that says? No. I no. don't know. I can't read. Bremen. <laughs> I don't read a uh, symbol. Symbol on the boat. See? On boat. Oh, painted on boat. Said Bremen. Or not, interesting. Yeah. So like well, each ha each town has their own uh flag right. type. And I think on boat is painted the flag of Bremen. Wait, wait, I think I think maybe that is some dirt some dirt that's covering this boat possibly from a previous incident. And I run my hand over the Bremen tagging on the boat, and I use breast, Presta digitation to make it into the symbol that's on Brian's flag. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so Beast is going to say, oh, Targo symbol, not Bremen. Right, right. And then I say, hey, I, I, paddle a, I paddle a little closer to the other boat <laughs> and do the same thing on that boat. I think this has all been a big misunderstanding. Please do, sir. Get to say, yeah, I go back to fish. Wait, wait. Uh, let, let me heal you first before you go back. Hold on, uh, hold on, friend. What? Friend, where is there good fishing around here? Very deep. Trout go very deep. What about the, what are they called? Knucklehead? <laughs> Knucklehead oh, trout. Yeah. Oh. 
I wanna I wanna pet the Plesios Plesiosaurus and like cure wounds him. When and also do... before you send him away, didn't didn't that scholar say she'd give us money for learning about it? Maybe. Wait, can you tell us how you ended up in this lake in the first place? I've always been in this lake. Are there others like you in this lake? Wow. Not, not awake. They were stupid like me before, before Druid wake me up. I'm seeing a pattern with all of my rolls. <laughs> <laughs> like, all my damage or healing is just, like, one. I'm not... Hey. So I want to I want to take a few minutes to since I have I have knowledge in nature I want to ask this creature you know uh, things that uh, the scholar would likely be interested in like you know what does it eat how long does it live how big does it get yep. <clears throat> uh, a lot a lot of the answers would would be. Um, you know, now, now that I'm awake, I do the same thing, except, you know, I attack Brahmin boats. But... Wait, I have a question. Is the is how much we get paid for providing information going to scale with the quality of the information? And if so, should we then make intelligence rolls as to what details we should be asking about? Oh, we weren't going to get paid. Oh, this I see. Just, uh, us being oh, that was it. It wasn't oh, oh. She was just going to be thankful. Yeah, that's worth it. Oh, okay. I mean, we could also embellish. Which is exactly how legends about the edge of civilization start, anyway. I mean, the truth is sort of, you know, I mean, are, pretty you, embellished just, as is. Yeah. I actually, I'm going to be honest, a sentient dinosaur is probably, that sounds embellished to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, there's magic in the world. You, you know there is such thing as, well, actually, let's see. You can cast uh, magic and you can't believe that a plesiosaurus can talk. I mean, come on, you've seen the fish <laughs> the wall sing. I right, listen, that magic exists, that doesn't mean that its regular presence is extremely common. True, true, it's not. But yeah, so uh, uh, an awakened plesiosaur that's talking to you, it's unusual, but yeah, it, it will tell, the, 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 the plesiosaur will tell you all the answers about its life and where it lives and you think yeah. this guy's related to the songfish? Do you think that perhaps the same, the same wizard, or the same druid did both? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, <laughs> the, the the fish in Old Bitey in in the the end. It's it's been singing for years and years. Sounds yeah. like this druid thing is pretty recent. Though, really actually, you know what? Actually, that time. Thank yeah. you. you. You gave me a good question here. I ask how long whether... I try and figure out when it was awakened or how long ago, and if it doesn't have a great perception for it, I say when the last time that the sun rose up in the sky above it, if it was awakened before or after that. Winter. Okay. Oh, always winter. Dark. No sun. Yeah, it doesn't really know enough to answer. Like it, it I mean, that's fine. Winter, winter means that it's within the last. It's, yeah. it's within the last two years. We could ask it how many times it's attacked boats in the past. From Bremen. No. It's like every Bremen boat I see, but I think I've attacked. It looks at the the boat that Finn and Callahan and Nash are on. They're like, I've attacked this boat before. People died. I didn't eat them. I eat fish. All right. Well, what is your opinion on forks? What are forks? They're... You know, the Little Mermaid knew what forks were. What, you mean just... turtle hoppers? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, just bringing up there could be a perception of fork here. That's all I'm saying. Sir does not know thing about. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep looking back between the boats. Hey, um, this is a long shot here, but um, 
you wouldn't by chance uh, want to um, make up the fact that you attacked our boat by um, maybe getting us to where we need to go um, to Lonelywood. You could maybe just like hold on to this grappling hook here and pull our boat. Uh, that's a great idea. I'm trying to think what kind of check this would be. <laughs> Persuasion. All right. All right. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's a persuasion roll for sure. I was gonna say, we might want to. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I can try and do this. I can try and do this. I might have the best check on it. Hey, wait. hey, I have. I have yeah, yeah. expertise in persuasion. Okay. I have, I have plus five persuasion. <laughs> plus three. <laughs> Um, you're, 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 you're welcome to help. Meta note, okay, so. All right, all right. I'll let try. Brian take his shot. I'll have a different, I'll have a different attempt at persuasion. Okay. Let Brian take you're his shot. You're going to try to convince the plesiosaur to drag the boats behind it. Well, my, if, if it, if Brian's fails, I'll say if it'll, dra if it's going fishing in that direction, and if so, if it'll at least bring us along. Yep, so uh, persuasion checks in the tower, please. Mine felt incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Mine didn't. <laughs> what? Yes, you... I got a six, I know, it's okay. You are actually able to persuade Pesiosaur to to drag the boats all the way to you only would which cuts your time in half. It's also so, because we healed him, or I healed him. Yeah, so you were supposed to be out here for another two hours. Uh, it's only going to be another hour. Hey. So, yep, and uh, so you guys could go fishing for that hour if you would like, but the presence of the plesiosaur kind of scares away well, from the but it I is mean... kind of... Uh, what is it the kind of fishing you do where you drag the line behind you out behind you yeah, i was gonna say that the line's been out there the whole time anyway mm -hmm. i think i don't know yeah. what that's called all right so uh yeah um congrats guys did please use ours dragging your guys boats hey so I mean, are are you happy you actually try to speak with it instead of? I mean, it? I'm I'm gonna be honest here. I felt like we were really ill-equipped for a sea battle. I'm happy that we're all alive and we have all of our extremities and digits. I'm not wearing my armor at all, so. Yes, uh, there was also a reasonable chance of people people sinking to the bottom of water because their armor weighs more than them. We may actually have yeah, several I, characters I, I... on our team like that. I just realized that I actually weigh just as much as my armor, so that's something you didn't know. I I think you guys would have been smart enough to take your armor off. Um, no, no, and... Bob. Well, no. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. Well, it's it's all good that we all escaped without any damage except Bob. That was something. I mean... like, that was <laughs> God, <arrow> <laughs> <the> <laughs> fire. <laughs> Bob's are you are you gonna dry yourself off? Yeah. You dry yourself wait, off wait. yet? Wait. Do you have you have a method for this, right? You have your own spell for it. Yeah. Yeah. He has yeah. Special. Okay. Okay. He dried himself off while you were talking with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So how are how are you drying yourself off? I did press. I did it the same turn that I started talking to it. Okay, cool. So because the, the talking's a bonus action, so press the dictation was my action for that turn. Take a short rest as I'm not rowing anymore. Uh, we want to do that on the shore, though, right? We want to do that on the shore. I'll heal my hand. Removing the. Yep. The uh, it, instead of just taking a rest. Oh yeah, that's right. actually that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Now it makes sense that they 
Set up. I'll give the arrow to Rattlebone and be like, here you go. You lost. I forget. And then, and then... As, as he goes to reach for it, I go, oops, and I snap it in half. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Did you just break a fork again? No, it was this time it was an arrow. Oh. Uh -huh. Which is really just a quarter of a fork, if you think about it. Wow. Yes, so, yep. I just shared the lake monster quest, so, yep. Wait, um, what? Oh. I shared the lake monster oh, quest. Should we, should we be closing this? No, no, that's fine. It, you already figured out everything you know, so that's that's why I shared it with you now, because it was telling you stuff about the please your sore, which is why I didn't share the quest before. Yeah, but now you know about that stuff. You're good. All right. So for the next hour, I need to roll my dice. Mission complete. Well, technically oh, wow. not. Wow. Wow, I can't. This is that's actually really funny. The stumbling and the communicating. I'm happy I did that. <laughs> My lake event stuff. All right, one more hour. So let's see what you guys get. Up, oh, I have to roll again because the please do sorry. Oh, we also could adhere to the. We also could have commu convinced this thing to allow us to go as long as we promised we weren't fishing. But on my honor, we were intending to fish. <laughs> By the way, for each of those hours, whoever was fishing was supposed to be making a uh, fishing roll, and I forgot to do that. So... You guys would have been fishing for a total of three hours max, because that's how long it took you to go across. All right, so the little ones, the little ones would have been you doing have the fishing, to, I think. You have to make a DC fifteen survival check. So, you know, for however many hours you would have been fishing. So Nash and Rattlebone, you were rowing. Paddling, yeah, yeah. Hours. We were rowing. Uh. Can I get, like, advantage on this one? Because it's, like, my literal job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you've been fishing for two years. You, you get advantage on this. So, so uh, Rattlebone and Nash, you can make one survival check for Knucklebone fishing for the hour that you're being dragged. Oh, you said survival. Hold on. Uh, yep. Is it survival, survival. or animal handling? Yep. It's, no, it's yeah. Survival. It's, yep. Yeah, it's survival. So and then Bob, uh, Callahan, and Finn, you guys had three hours where you could have been fishing. So, uh, so that's three checks for three hours. So just Let's roll uh, it three times. Roll it that's, three times. Oh, three survival checks. Three survival checks. Okay. Oh, I was about to just throw three d twenties. Oh, uh, click on your survival thing. Oh, that was almost a 20, Brian. I saw that. Wait, I rolled mine in private. Can I know my number? Uh, I, I, I see exactly what you and Bob roll. All right. Oh, All I right. forgot to advantage. Uh, you said it was a DC 15. Yep. Um, oh, okay, so I got two, I think. Yeah, Brian, roll once more with the nine for the nine, and then roll your third one with advantage. All right, so yeah, you would have missed one. All right, and the last one over with advantage. All right, uh, one, one, so two, now, one. Nash, you caught a fish. You got a 20. Ooh. All right, so I need you to make an athletics check con uh, contested by the fish strength score. Oh, God. Yes! Woo! Nice. Ooh. 
Flex, he jumps are. out into the water, grabs a fish, and comes back in. Hey, how much does the fish weigh? About 90 pounds. Oh, okay. That's... Uh, oh, Holy it weighs shit. double me? Uh, it, it, it weighs, <laughs> uh, oh god, like, a lot. Yeah. All Wait right, a second. So... Well, apparently I caught two of them somehow. And then we were only getting uh, paid what for it? Five copper. That, anyway, what? Nash, Nash, <laughs> you, you got a knucklehead trout. Congrats. Whoa, just whoa, going whoa, down whoa. The list. Uh, Bob, you did. Oh, that was your performance check you rolled in the tower. Yes, I'm not. I'm not. Fishing. You're not. Fifty fishing. pounds. Okay. Average weight is fifty um, pounds. Yep. That. That it seems... weighs just as much as me. You know, I gotta be honest. Like you said, a couple of copper. Yeah. That that does not seem appropriate for this much fish meat. Because Bremen's robbing us. Did you not realize that it is nothing Finn, but thieves? And I need you to make a strength check contested by, uh, yeah, contested by the fish. So check, please. Then save ability athletics. score athletics. athletics. One. Okay. Please don't. All right. You, you you get the fish. You get a fish. All right. So you only got one out of your three. And Callahan, I need you to roll uh, two strength uh, checks contested. So the first, just roll strength once. Okay. And I'll contest it. You are so lucky. <laughs> Yay. You pull in the fish. Hey, that's right. one. And the second one? Uh, I think he can win. Wow. Wow. <laughs> okay, so you lost that check by five. But, well... Which means, Callahan, you would have been uh, pulled off your feet. And into the water oh, during the sure. last hour. <laughs> oh so, God. yeah, I, I uh, on your you're boat, wrong. Nash, Nash, and Finn, I would give you a reaction. You, you see Callahan fighting with this knucklehead trout, and yeah, he's going overboard. What do you do? You get a reaction. You could have stolen the rod, though. I grab on to the rod with him. Or I grab onto him, I guess. Hold on. Okay. It is only a reaction. I don't have that much room. Yeah. I gotta just grab on him. Brian? I would uh, be uh, consulting on... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was a two. It wasn't a nat one. It yeah. wasn't a nat one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so... I would be consulting about uh, how to reel in this fish. Oh wait, um, isn't it? I only, I'm only, only. We're only four off instead of five? Because it's Three first. Oh, true, true. Never mind. Yeah. yeah so it looks like, eh, with your help, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> your help, help, in air quotes. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I knocked him into the water for yeah, myself. Oh. Or I capsized the whole boat, actually. Is my... say, between, Please don't give her ideas. Between Finn giving actual advice and and Nash and, yeah, I, you, you, you somewhat all stay in the boat. So somehow all three of you end up wet. You don't know how. There was a lot of slashing and movement. Yeah. Okay. You're in the okay. boat, but you're wet. All yeah. So that, that's fine. Yeah, that's yeah. nothing. Press the digitation can't solve. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna dry yourself. I'll dry myself, and then I'll dry uh, Finbald if I if um. And I'll dry myself off, I guess. Yeah, if all Callahan right. can't get to it first, like we're. I mean, it's about the same amount of time. But yeah, we're we're gonna yeah. we're gonna dry off. I uh, <laughs> offer my knucklehead trout to our our friendly source of propulsion. Hold on. Um. All right, Rattlebone, you, you get the last knucklehead trout. You actually caught one too on your last. Yeah. So I need I a straight. Need... I just had this character sheet open. Where the hell is it? I'm pretty sure one of these knucklehead trouts can feed me for like ever. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to be honest. My my next my next thing once we're on shore is going to be asking if anyone knows how to smoke fish. 
would have called create, it. I mean, we can learn right now. I can create a bonfire here in the little in the All little right, boat. So, uh, <laughs> you guys Please would have five <laughs> head trout. We have how many? Five, I believe. Oh wow, Valhead and that's the amount. That was the amount that the guy was looking for. Yep. All right, we got like three copper pieces now. Now I, I am feed my knucklehead trout to our our plesiosaur sore friend. Uh, yeah. he he's actually full. He he's busy like dragging your boat, but yeah, it's, at the end, that's at hungry the, work, right? Yeah, no, at sorry. the end he'll he'll thank you and he'll eat eat the trout. Okay. So that's four trout in the boat right now. Um, Wait, didn't we need five? Well, we have to take the trip back at some point. Yeah. Oh, okay. So then and then on top of that, this guy is radically oh, underpaying us. I say that he said that he needed five. I say we just offer to pay him what he was going to pay us back. You do realize... The boat is also that. damaged, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he sent us out here to die. He sent us out here to die. This was he the bitten boat, so... Yeah, he knew what was happening. I feel no, I feel no remorse for his boat. <laughs> well, after I remorse for being on hours, his boat, not four hours, uh, you guys make it across the water, and you end up in a uh, what is this? Lonelywood. We made it, it alive. Act, it's eleven forty. I didn't know it was almost midnight. Yeah, it snuck up like that. I yeah. I personally feel that uh, we did a good job of not dying on this uh, this lake crossing. I once we actually encountered the plesiosaur, and I realized just how delicate our lives were. I had doubts. <laughs> how delicate <laughs> our boats were. Yeah, yeah. when those boats were going down. In <laughs> We we were pretty much helpless. Uh, I feel like like maybe we would have killed it over time, but the uh... I I did think damage like think <laughs> little think it would have been like not like when somebody's trying to shoot. It says a lot when I healed more than I did damage to the plesiosaurus. <laughs> it says a lot. You uh. Yeah, you survive the trek across the water. Um, yeah. And and you even caught knucklehead trout. Thank Umber. Although one of them got me wet. Yeah. Well, somehow you got the whole boat wet, but thankfully it was a spellcaster boat, so yeah. you guys are good. <laughs> <laughs> the spellcaster boat is like the boat to like just die on. It already was like had a bite in it. All right, it was Cal, just like, you want to go through your gears right now? Um, uh, yeah, I think that would be a good idea. And congrats, welcome, welcome to the party. Uh, thank you for having me, Jay. Yeah. Uh, I hope you don't mind my uh, DMing. It's uh, my first time ever DMing, so. No, you're doing good. Yeah. You need to deal with my noobness. I mean, I've played before a lot, but yeah, there's. I mean, it's the first time for me playing an uh, artificer, so you know that's new. Yeah. Well, it, it helps that I have one on uh, my Thursday morning game. Okay. So yeah. I, yeah, normally I played a, a human fighter, or like I had a human fighter. I played a dragonborn uh, paladin before, and then I think I forgot what the other one character was. But I've mostly just like played other things besides spellcasters. Well, yeah. paladin is spellcasting kind of, but it's just always just smite, smite, smite. The um, the, what's it called? The artificer, artificer actually seems to have some neat stuff to them. I was looking at that when you said you were going with the class. Yeah, I was looking through the spells while in combat. That's why I keep forgetting to uh, end turn because I was looking through everything. The items or the the ability to make the the dur the yeah. durable magical items is just neat. Like you can make glowing stones. You could just be literally dropping glowing stones into the water periodically yeah. to light up at a certain level. Like I mean, you can only have a couple, but let's just. And as a rock gnome, I also have a couple other things I can make too. And I was just like thinking, oh, I can probably make those items magical as well. <laughs> so I was just thinking it like that. 
It was neat. It was neat, but yeah. Before I go, uh, through the spells and everything, uh, I need to go grab my Tasha's book, and then I could just go drag your spells into your sheet. Because remember, like a cleric, you know all your spells. You just have to prepare them in the morning. Yeah. And think... in the morning, you also have to infuse your items if you change it. So, yeah. uh, feel free to take the time to look through through the infuse item chart. I believe you get no three, but you could only infuse two. And remember, you don't have to infuse the items on you. You can actually infuse other people's items. Mm -hmm. on. But okay. again, that's you being nice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I, well, so first night, you would probably have it all infused on you when you woke up this morning. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I was drunk last night, so. Well, yeah. Please. I probably would have infused like a, a, a fork out of spite. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Making making objects so they could hold recorded messages seems like something someone that's drunk would be having a great time with. I you could just did. you could make the fork say like destroy all spoons every time it. What is it? Every time it gets knocked or something. So if someone were eating with it, it would it would just shout something that would be heresy to Bob. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait! You can record messages. Yes, I could. I could have an item be have have a, have a recorded message. It's so indefinite. Probably, oh, like man, maybe I in my uh, drunken stupor, I probably like took one of the forks and just like put a recorded message. And oh my! Just, like left it in Bob's room, just saying "death to all spoons." Can you? Can you like if I give you a stick? Can you make it so that it just says "bonk" every time? And then <laughs> I guess probably could. <laughs> oh, here it is. Your your magical tinkerings. Whenever tapped by a creature, the object emits a recorded message that can be heard up to ten feet. You utter the message when you bestow this property on the object, and the recording can be no longer than six seconds. So look, you can just make sound, have it so that like you do this to your crossbow bolt, mm -hmm. and then you shoot the crossbow bolt at something. And it just goes bonk, or got ya, or, or something else that's just, like... I could. <laughs> just, just, like, I'm sorry. Because it's like actually, whenever tapped by a creature, so technically that is tap, that is actually being tapped by a creature. I mean, it, I think it has to hit the creature for it to, yeah. um, for it to I, go, but... I mean, it could also hit the wall and just go bonk. <laughs> so if it's just tapped by a creature, it might be less flexible with it. I was try. I was thinking. You reminded me of tap by creature. I was thinking about using that type of thing as like a distraction because you could shoot it somewhere. It makes a, a different yeah, type of noise. But if it has to, yeah. If it needs a creature, then that's then you got to like shoot a cow in a butt or something. I yeah. I'm gonna say, if possible, you could like record the plesiosaurus because. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I could it's just, wait. Or... Yeah, you could record it for six seconds or 18 seconds if you do it a couple of times of proof to this person but all that, that person on the other side is going to hear is just some guy speaking in common it's not going to be like oh this sounds like a plesiosaur i can i can prove that <laughs> like, <laughs> i can i can prove that it's a plesiosaurus hey hey it's still proof it's not the yeah. best proof but it's still proof but it's still there if you look i'm dragging your spells into mm -hmm. your list uh you you could prepare. I think it uh, depends on your int and level. I need to go check that in a minute. I, I think it was uh, my spellcasting level pl or spellcasting uh, modifier plus uh, half my artificer level. So I think I can prepare four. I think that's how that works. You know, Lonely Wood is probably the place to smoke fish if we're going to smoke some fish. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it probably is. It's like the only place that we have wood. The only place to get uh, wood for spoons. Ooh. When you do choose a number of artificial spells equal to your intelligence modifier plus half your artificial level. Yeah, round it down. Spells must be of a level of which you have spell slots. So yeah, that should be three plus one, four. All right. So, uh, you know how to say they're prepared or not, right? Uh, for this. For, for what? What? 
know how to say uh, to track your prepared spells in Fantasy Ground? No, I do not. Okay, on the bot. Do you see on your spells list? Yes, I see. It's in right. the attack section. 